Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Alright, All right, everybody ready to get started? Everybody in? Uh, is there a link? It's in the, uh... Oh, it's in the chat? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Chronic <laughs> <Phonic letters>. <laughs> <laughs> Loading up now. I got a new PC yesterday and I got so fucking scared because I thought I lost all my foundry shit because it didn't mm. do the correct data path. So I was freaking the fuck out like an hour before my session. I was like, I lost everything, like 18 hours of foundry prep gone. And then I just yeah. put it to the right thing and I they found it. So cool, cool. Yeah. That's why we're not in the other like world. We're in this one since I just thought, okay. I'll just make it all in this because this is our other uh. campaign one. So. Oh, can you give me the, if you put my character in, can you give me his, yeah. let me sign out and then re -lock. There you go. <laughs> you just called me Mushroom Dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so offensive to my people. <laughs> oh, shit. What are you, a bloodsucker? <laughs> a bloodsucker, a Mushroom Dude, and... <laughs> Whatever this fire guy is. Yeah. Is that yours, Tom, or are you the... Yeah, that's, that's my guy. We got a handsome anime boy. <laughs> <laughs> he is He's the face of the party. Boy. Hopefully. We will have one of those. <laughs> what? <laughs> we, have no, we had no charisma last time. It's the opposite. <laughs> I, of am, normal I am actually all charisma. <laughs> Yay! So. Sorcerer? No. No. Warlock? Yeah. Kinda? Are you a witch? Alright, I changed my name because I wanted to. Um, I am not a witch, necessarily. <laughs> How do you say your name? Barish? Barnibius? Uh, Barish Stason. Barish, okay. Yeah. Barish. That's why, so I'm a paladin slash warlock. Oh, oh, you're padlock, okay. Yeah, um, to your character introduction. <laughs> I guess we can skip right to that. You guys met this guy when you were like doing your travels, like in the hundreds of years and everything. Um, he's a an automaladrin, but unlike most automaladrin, he is he's like chill but super petty, and like when people just like kind of piss him off a little bit, he just starts like. I will murder you and your fat. Like he just goes straight into his his oath of vengeance of <laughs> oh. destroy everything that you stand for for this, and it's over the dumbest stuff. <laughs> oath of petty revenge, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I'll tie your shoes together. I'll do it. <laughs> it's like a it's his in his nature as an Aladdin to just like an autumn one to just be like super chill, but then also be like, I'm really mad at you right now. And I'm going to express that in not great ways. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll get started. Uh, we're not going to start in this place right now. We're just going to do a little bit of backstory. So it's been two years since our last uh, encounter with these people. Uh, where did the Scion go? So you guys flew away from the great desert beetle convoy. What happened to him? He's out there. Um... He got sent on like a, a specialized mission. Uh, his his voice was starting to come back, and so he was sent off by one of the uh, higher ups in the organization that we work for. All right. I really miss my best friend. Oh, he was such, such a, a nice a guy. Fellow. <laughs> Quite frankly, the greatest friend I've ever had. I can't imagine being yeah. closer with anyone else. You guys know he, like, hated you, right? The void in my heart you... cannot be filled with anyone <laughs> but the Scion. <laughs> A deep Still longing. The sweet things he would whisper in my ear when we were asleep. Oh, uh, yes. Was, when, he, um... <laughs> when he said, <laughs> I felt it. No, I felt like, it so deeply. He was, like, talking in abyssal to you, like, how he was going to murder you guys in the middle of the night if you kept doing, like really bad puns and other oh, stuff. Oh, the sweet release of death. He knew. 
Oh, he knew. He it got us. He understood us. Speak to the heart, you know, something like that. <laughs> okay, you said it's pronounced bearish. Yeah. Okay. You can just call him Bear. All right, Bear. 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 <laughs> Alright, so, I will let you guys know straight off, this is technically part two to a session that if we have, if Matt's gone again, we'll play the part one. Kind of like a Reservoir Dogs type deal. Whoa. Mm. So, uh, I will fill you in on what happened, but you guys will not have played it yet. And so, like okay. I said, if we do have another for one shot day, we'll go back and play that part. But, you were sent on a mission to uh, collect the Shastier, which is a sort of religious figure in the Sands area, in the Move Mounds. And the Shastier basically presides over the Move Mounds to keep order and peace and happiness within the Move Mounds area, which is like the greater desert outside that surrounds the more civilized parts of uh, the region that we're in. Uh, she was currently, or she was, being uh, sort of tracked, and there was a bounty on her head from a another religious organization that wanted to kill her and free the move mounts from her oppressive rule. But you guys stopped that after doing some crazy shit, and now you are traveling with her to uh, her palace in the move mounts. Right now, it's currently hidden because of the the current conflict, but she can find a way to get in because she's the Shastia. Your travels have probably been about a week, week and a half, and you're pretty close, you know, because she keeps saying that, oh, we're close, you know, we're going to find it eventually, but you're not quite sure of her navigational skills. Uh, she is a pretty young woman, and you don't really know anything about her besides that she is the Shastier. That you are told that she is the Shastier. Right now, you're outside a massive tar pit uh, that sort of surrounds the greater area and acts like a blockade to go further into the desert. And that's where I will leave you guys off right now. Yeah, so you guys are just entering the tar pits. Uh, and what are you guys going to do? Can I make a perception check? <laughs> yeah, make a perception check. <laughs> okay. Um, party, old party, Mazui, Nekori. Uh, roll on your roll 20 sheet, just because I don't have any of your stats in here. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, perception, 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 perception. Uh, 12. With a 12 perception, what are you looking for? Are you just doing a general sweep of the area? Uh, I just want to see what's around us. General sweep. Okay, so you are right now in a sort of low canyon uh the walls are about 50 feet high next to you and it's a rigid sort of formation with dust on the ground and some sparse vegetation uh other than that nothing out of the ordinary just more sand i, st I stick and my finger <laughs> in, in some of the tar i kind of examine it for myself yeah it sticky and it burns you a little bit it burns like the the fingertip off Ooh. Ooh. are you, are you I okay that. yeah don't do that that sucks um <laughs> it's like, it tastes like warm and taffy it's just like... oh actually hold on on the downswing it's actually not that bad uh <laughs> but it's definitely tar <laughs> <laughs> Definitely tar, but it tastes all right. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I don't like the feeling of it. I don't like this, though. We're okay. trapped in this canyon. Yes. And who knows what could live in this kind of environment. Have you ever heard of tar monsters? No. no? Do a history check on tar monsters. <laughs> okay. Actually, have I heard of tar monsters? Can we all do it? Yeah, sure. Oh, shit. I'm a dumbass. Uh, 10. <laughs> 18. <laughs> 8. <laughs> uh, with an 18, tar monsters are a real thing. They live in tar pits, and when there's a lot of commotion outside, either magical or, you know, like, physical pressure stomping around outside, they'll come out and try to get everybody out of their area Ooh. because they like a nice, slow and chill area. 
Listen, guys, like, as long as we take it easy and we do the tar walk, we should be totally fine. All right? You tar walk. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to enlighten me. How do you tar walk? Uh, he kind of... You guys forgot already? I showed you this, like, last week, but all right. And he... <laughs> <laughs> That's the tar no, walk. No, no, no. <laughs> don't bounce, man. You don't bounce. You have to just kind of, like... You just kind of, you just kind of sit there the arms are important. The arms are very important. All right, all right, all right. I, 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 I'm completely in line with whatever you're saying that we need to do. Um, Shasti, okay. how yes. much further until we get uh something to drink? Oh, something to drink. A couple days, maybe. Oh no. Hey, are you I, are I, you thirsty now? No, I'm not actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good then, because I'm. <laughs> I like lean in, like just so that she doesn't hear. It's like, you mean do you mean water, or are we talking like, yeah, you know, you know, you know, you okay. know. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. That's all. You know, crazy. Yeah, I don't want to say the B word, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we press on? Yeah. yeah. I don't see why Step not. tar walking, tar walking, tar walking. Tar, yeah, tar. So, Just remember. Uh, I'm going to need an acrobatics check if you're going to go through this hole right here. <laughs> what the fuck the is that? Hole. Well, can we walk through the tar? I assume this was tar. Uh, This is like uh, more uh, tar residue, not actual oh, like okay. tar pit. I don't know how tar pits work. I'm not, I don't have them here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona, we love our. We have big tar pits. We throw shit into. <laughs> Don't you find dinosaur bones in? Uh, you said acrobatics, right? Yeah, acrobatics. If you want to get uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, you can squeeze through here. Oh, uh, I got ooh. um twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You can squeeze through there as well. Uh, bear, I'm afraid you can't. You'll either have to go through another entrance, or you'll have to climb up. Can we break it through, or is it just too narrow? I, my tar walk, I go to like walk in and I jump through and like the... <laughs> I can't get through. Yeah, so you'll have to climb up, uh, or go around some other way. Uh, Bear, do not be alarmed. I have found three suspicious individuals. I'm sorry, four? I'm sorry, five? Do I see- do I hear six? Maybe. Oh, these- these things? Yeah, yeah, those things. I can kind of see them, yeah. In your great travels, have you ever seen anything like these? Uh, can I make a history check? Yes, you can make a history check. And then I will explain what you can see in front of- Oh, yeah, you. I Dude, I have seen lizards. <laughs> great. Fantastic. So yeah, this seems to be <laughs> I love that. A lizard party. And then up above, where it says 50 feet, they're yeah. on like a 50 foot elevation, so if you guys were to climb on top, they would see you. But right now, they're more patrolling the skies, not looking down. Okay. Bear, let me come around with you the other way. The other way? Oh, you want to go? Yeah, because you don't fit. <laughs> Excuse me? Don't fit you <laughs> think? Look, I know I've seen you sneaking extra rations every night, so let's not, like... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Girl, girl's fat shaming the party. <laughs> it's okay. You're just not gonna be okay. I, I didn't want to say anything. I'm pretty sure neither me <laughs> or uh, what's your character again, Sai? Uh, Nikori. 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 Yeah, I don't think either of us really eat, <laughs> so <laughs> it's okay. But like, man. Sure. The one guy you have to be shocked about party. it. Okay. I know I'm not the scion, and I don't exist on oil. All right. He would love these tar pits. Oh, he would love these tar pits. <laughs> I know my fallen friend. He's not even fallen. He's, he's just gone. Right. He's just gone. <laughs> anyway, nice no, no, no. Well. You like you go through, and like let's make sure she gets through, and then I'll meet you guys over there. Don't worry about me. I, I got well, this. No, I'm just saying, we know that that path is safe. Let's see where this other path leads. No, Cory can hold that area down. I'll go with you and, uh, 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 uh 
<laughs> she, hold on, I wrote it down. Shastier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This and we is can just I... we can go through the other pack. Just you know, I just strengthen numbers and everything. Yeah, that, that's why they they told me you guys are the leaders, and I'm just supposed to support you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Follow no, don't you. Don't it like that. You are part of this team. Well, I don't know, man. I'm not smart enough to come up with these kinds of plans. I'm just good with my words sometimes. I think. <laughs> Through that side area, give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> See if you can shimmy on through. Oh, this one's tight too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's never, he's just stopped. He's done. Uh, <laughs> sorry, we're gonna have to leave you behind. Uh, I gotta, I gotta for Greek knowing you, Bear, but you're not uh, a druid. <laughs> shimmy on through as well. All right, you go, you go through. I, I, I'll stay here with Sastia and I'll figure something out. Okay, okay. If you need to, you can climb. Oh no, I can actually- I already have what I'm gonna oh, do, but... I don't know if I can actually get through there, Chuck. Yeah, it's- the walls are kinda of messed up. I'll put you... Oh, wait, there. yeah. There we go. There go. Okay. <laughs> I like how this is grayed out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. Hey, what am there. I looking at? You're looking at a tar pit right now. Uh, oh. bubbling and like little smoke pops out of the bubbles. Uh, it seems to be very sticky here. It's like latching to the walls a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be disturbed. Did you put that effect in there? Oh, the little. Did like, you do that? Or yeah. yeah, yeah, I put that in there. Hell yeah, good job. That's sick. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't oh. notice that. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. What? Um, oh, I can't see anything. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna shimmy around the side, I think. Okay. Just not touch it. I do my my walk with the arms and everything. Yeah, the tar walk. Learn the tar the walk. Tar walk. In, in the classic tar stuff. walk. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm wearing my what's a funny way of saying still suit. Okay, tar walking boots. <laughs> my tar mine at home. It's tar suit. It's tar your, suit. Your tar, my tar suit. suit. I don't actually urinate, so I don't know what it's turning into water, but. <laughs> you know, it's a tar uh, suit. It turns into tar. <laughs> 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 your, suit, your suit is multi purpose. It actually, every time you spore it, it like. If you take it, spore it, it, it like, puts them back <laughs> into you. That tar, it's. I mean, it tastes like toffee, but like. <laughs> mm, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, all right, Shast Shastia, why don't you see if you can get your fat in? Why don't you see if you can get through? <laughs> okay, dick. <laughs> <laughs> this part is okay, way worse. I, maybe I can't get it through. <laughs> this is too fat. Damn it. Can I put my hand through and like help him out? Uh, are you proficient in acrobatics? I am not. I no. Can I give her like a boost? Like, I'll hold you up. Get on my shoulders. Are you proficient in acrobatics? <laughs> uh no. Okay. Then, no, you cannot. Damn it! I should have rolled up that barbarian. <laughs> um, she turns to the bear and says, "I think we have to climb. There's no other way through here. Our fat asses are not gonna allow us to shine <gasps> on through here." A single, single tear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> too fat. It's too fat. He's so right. I have been sneaking rations at night. <laughs> All right. Um, which area are we gonna climb on? Because Shasta is gonna follow you. So. Oh, I was gonna try and like boost her first so that she can kind of climb a little bit easier, and then go behind her this way because she's the important. You know, we need to keep her alive. So. Okay. Uh, where do where do you think we should um. Like, can I make like a maybe an investigation or something to see if there's any like. Or insight, something to see if there's like a solid, like maybe climbable rocks. Like uh, it looks I like. Check would do good. Yes, the one thing I have nothing in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I think if you go over there, those rocks look super like strong. Like they'll hold you. Okay, I'll trust you. <laughs> and I'll be right here to catch you, just in case. Stick number one. And she is going. Mm -hmm. Climb up perfectly fine. Uh, and she's going to come up to this rock up here. And I got to put her elevation on. Uh, hold on. 
Like, as she's climbing all the rocks, are popping out and falling down towards the oh, oh, shit. <laughs> like, you're this most unstable surface to climb on. Uh, Alright. Now they should be. And, uh, hey, Nikori, like, what do you think we should do in this instance, you know? You think we need to engage those things, or? Well, um, um, in my personal adventures, I've never met a friendly face that has scales. <laughs> that is... Oh, it's her armor. Okay. Broad generalization. <laughs> uh, as she goes up, the rocks falling down, hitting off the side of the canyon, echoing out through the canyon. <laughs> Uh, this bird is gonna come over and see what's up. <laughs> asshole detected! Asshole detected! <laughs> and look around. Uh, I'll keep in mind she has a two on her stealth check, so she's probably wow. gonna get found. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay. Do I do a performance check to see if you can uh, do a mating call? Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh. It's a dirty Ooh. 20. Oh, plus 8. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got a plus 8 in charisma, or plus 8 for my performance. And the so. Bird will move over here. Uh, now circling this area. Yeah, I, I like threw my voice towards the other side, so like. Nice. Okay. Good job there. That's why. Can I'm here. I um see if these guys look hostile? Like, do they have like weapons? I can see that they're bloody faced and angry looking, but like. Uh yeah, I, no check required. These guys have weapons, like tribal war paint on, uh, and they're trying to do something to this tar pit. They're like dancing around it, like trying to stir up something out of the tar pit. Hmm. If you can, like, pull them a little bit down here, I can probably, like, Wait, then try something. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, in the event that I am put into great peril, please help me. Yeah, no, that's that's why I'm here. All right, all right. I trust you. you Good should... evening, everyone. Fine day get for tar pit worshipping. I didn't... You should... <laughs> I don't know what language this is. I only speak common. <laughs> what what language are they speaking? Uh, lizard folk. Oh, uh, damn. The one like, like a dialect of draconic. <laughs> uh, if you speak draconic, you can sort of piece together what they're saying in a bad sort it's of like translation. It's like understanding. It's like understanding Spanish if you only know how to speak French. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's similar enough. Yeah, it's similar enough, so you can kind of understand what they're saying. Okay, and like I'm listening from my hiding place. Intruder! Interrupting the tar ritual. Good evening, good evening. I couldn't help but notice you've got a fine, fine tar pit. Um, I'm quite thirsty and would like a drink. Do you have any to offer? If he comes any nearer, call over the pterosaur. Oh, I would love to just take a dip, you know? I don't actually know oh, what they're he's saying. Fucked. He's fucked, he's fucked, he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, if you'll please come here, I would like to show you a magic trick. <laughs> gentlemen, I'm going to pull out one of my fans. I like these two random ass fans for being a vampire. Um, and I'm just going to start doing like a fan dance. <laughs> You have captivated the attention of two of them as they begin to get a little closer to see your trick that you're doing. Oh, please come closer, come closer. It's riveting, really. Years of practice. Take it out. Painstakingly so. But we're gonna kill him in one minute. All right, I can I can tell you are quite enthralled by my performance. Please come closer. Come closer. Be like, no, get out of here. I think I think I just have to like jump out. Um, Nicor, Nicor, do you think it's working? Do you think they're hot? Like, what do you think? Bear. Let the hunt begin. I'm gonna pull out flame tongue. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and that's my command word for it as well. Okay. Uh... Flame tongue, baby! <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, open my books. What is my initiative? I haven't played this character. Plus five? God damn! Yeah, I got you. Damn! You, you got, Mine's a plus zero. You, I so you got a 20. Wait, oh. Oh, he like, he did a roll thing, so we didn't. Yeah. I put your initiative bonuses in. So. Oh, okay, okay. But on roll 20, I got a 61. Holy shit. You got a... Got a... Huh? There's something wrong with my sheet. I have a plus 50 to my initiative. Hold on. <laughs> You, you just say you rolled a 61 on your initiative? <laughs> so I was like, I always uh, want to go first, so... <laughs> 11 plus 5 plus 5... What the fuck? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you portented, but the wrong portent, you know? <laughs> <laughs> From beyond the yeah. future, Victor's like, Shit, somebody portent that guy! Yeah. Um, Alright. Uh, are we getting any sort of surprise round? Because they hadn't seen me yet. True. Same. And I think I like kind of wanted to pincer them a little bit. Yeah, uh, Kurotaka can get an initiative round, uh, but they did see everybody else. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will attack. Which uh, the two in front of Nikori? Those like are the ones that are uh, like a little bit in, were a little bit enthralled. Yeah. And the other guy was like. They were not so enthralled in the trick. They were just trying to see what the fuck he was doing. He was like waving around these things that they'd never seen before. And they're like, what is he doing? Okay. What is this? Um, thing? Well, I'm going to try to. I'm going to like sneak up on this guy. And I'm going to use my skeletal form. <laughs> and I'm going to forego the armor class bonus that it gives me. And give myself 10 foot reach on a, my 1d8. And uh, attack him from behind. All right. Uh, ooh, do I need to make like a stealth roll or anything, or like, uh, like is this a like a hidden attack, like a stealth attack at advantage? I think the surprise would already give you advantage if it's a surprise. If you're coming in surprise. Oh yeah, I guess it does, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. You... Okay. Well, that was already a nineteen. Ooh. Oh, and that was a natural twenty. So. <laughs> That's like, well, he's rolled twice. Yeah, roll, the, roll the damage, roll the damage. Okay. Bugga up, bugga up. <laughs> One shot this guy. Holy shit. Uh, are we doing max, uh, yep, max, uh, max plus rolled? Yep, max plus rolled. Uh, that is only uh, 14 damage. Total for both? Yeah. Wow, okay. It's 8 plus 2 plus 4. Yeah, so you, I was going to say, so this is like a, a very, like, sharp edge. So you just kind of reach around with your long arm oh. and just stab him. <laughs> oh, actually, hold on. I'm level 7. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Yeah! yeah we'll fire, baby! <laughs> uh, that is a 22. Uh, damn. <laughs> Plus 7, baby. Uh... <laughs> Fuck, that's five damage. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. He's like, they're gonna call me Terrasaur. <laughs> what did you call me? A Terra who? I don't, I don't know what a Terrasaur is either, but I don't want to see it. <laughs> well, if I can eat it, it can come. <laughs> you can eat. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was out of character. I did not mean it. I would like to kill them though. Let that be clear. Uh, that's three seconds. Hold on. I have a timer thing. So. We have three seconds until death. No, Great. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I've been like hard taking like protein powder and milk. And this was like fucking 700 calories. Mm. I want to throw up and die. Alright, so. Uh, oh. We'll go to uh, Nakori. Alright. I, the great vampire. Lord, one day, take a step forward. This guy on the right, I would like to attack him. Yeah, go for it. Um, first one is with Flame Tongue. Okay. Uh, that is a 12 to hit. That's a mess. All right, well, I have double attack, so I'm going to attack again. <laughs> that is a natural Fire. one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does not. And then I will use my bonus action 
to fi- I think Fighting Spirit is what it's called. Uh oh, fuck! I should have done that first. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stand here. Are you not entertained? Fire! You're still on the fan dance, you know. Figuring, yeah. Still, uh, still figuring things out. I'm new to this whole fire thing. All right, back to uh, Kuro. Oh yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep swinging on this guy. <laughs> I want him. I want him dead. Uh, that is <laughs> 25. Nice. That hits. Plus seven is nice. Oh, you are yeah. just scaring the fuck out of this guy with your long. <laughs> He's like, like reaching where around. Where is this coming <laughs> from? <laughs> just stabbing him in the chest. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, that is uh eleven damage. And he's oh, and again. <laughs> oh my god! Because I keep forgetting extra attack. Extra attack. Oh, that's only an eleven. <laughs> to hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that misses. But he finally gets wise to the arm coming around, and he just blocks it. He's finally wise. Yeah, he, wait a he second. Got scared the fuck out. Oh, he won. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my turn. Uh, the shot is gonna continue hiding. Smart girl. Smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding. <laughs> uh, Bear, what are you doing? All right. Well, I'm gonna get my ass over there. So I'm gonna phase step as a bonus action. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go right there. Nice. Good plan. That's a Eldrin thing, right? Yeah. Nice, it's like nice. three misty. I get to do it three times a day. Oh, that's Plus so sick. A misty step as a vengeance. So I'm good with my movement. What um, what uh, element? What 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 is it? Season. What season so, are you? I'm autumn, oh, which is sick. such a fun dichotomy for a vengeance paladin. Because I'm like, oh peace everyone. So <laughs> as I land, I'm like, yo, <laughs> and oh. the two closest to me have to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, because I'm Autumn, so my face step, um, has this, if, 16, so he fails, and then I guess this guy has to make one, uh, for, uh, that one, because I can do two. Oh, you can do two face steps? Yeah, up to, no, 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 uh, up to two creatures I see within 10 f- oh no is this, he's more than 10 feet actually right yeah he's dead. all right never mind just that guy uh he failed so he's charmed by me for a minute Ooh. Okay. Gotcha. Are cool. I missed on purpose <laughs> yeah. uh so now he's essentially out of combat kind of oh. wow as long as I like look to I look to the aquarium like listen don't hit this one he's you know he like bends down well <laughs> you don't need to tell me twice. I will feast. Um, I mean, destroy. I mean, kill. I mean, uh, target the other one. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm gonna Eldritch Blast this guy right here. Whoa. All right. Uh, so let's see. Oh, I think it's on my spell side. Hold on. When you pop the sheet out, but you don't make it big enough. <laughs> Um, all right, first one. Baby. For seven damage. Oh my god, oh. that was sick. Whoa. <laughs> uh, and I get my extra attack, so I'm hitting him again. Oh yeah. Or at least I'm gonna try to. Two for ten. Uh, that misses. All right, so he takes seven damage. Yeah, seven damage. Wait, when you say extra attack, what do you mean extra attack? Because, like, can, like, do you mean you can cast Eldritch Blast, like, two times? Or is that a whole other thing? I can uh, use the attack action twice. Oh, yeah, but you... Okay, at level 7... Oh, sorry. How many levels do you have in Warlock? I was going to say you might be able to cast it twice. Yeah, Never mind. Only... Yeah. I forgot uh, you were only, only... Yeah. Mostly Paladin. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, cool. Which uh, is why, if you're near me, you might see your saving throws are, like, ridiculous. Because... Ooh, the paladin perks, baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as his turn ends, you hear, like, a 
ear-piercing shriek echo throughout the canyon. And, uh... Show me the dinosaur. I mean, <clears throat> the pterosaur. <clears throat> the pterosaur is going to come in. On the, it's basically a flying lizard guy with a big, like a bundle of spears, and he's gonna start chucking spears down at you. <laughs> like, oh, I don't like this one. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what was I, that? I, I, I don't know. That scared me. <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So that is okay. I need a DC thirteen con saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Yep. A DC. I'm proficient. Throw. Okay. Uh. Oh, you should have the. I don't know if it automatically gives you the bonus because I think you're within my aura. Uh, sixteen. Okay. Uh, so you pass. Uh, you. Did you get the bonus for my charisma? So I'm 10 feet, right? So I get like a plus three. Uh, you get a plus five. Plus five. Holy shit. 21. All right. Uh, so you still pass. You are not poisoned by this. However, you take 35 damage as this blow dart shoots out through you and just like dislocates your shoulder. That's not like a thing, but that's flavor. But yeah. And he is going to uh, use the rest of his movement to fly away over here. Yep. If only we had a druid to heal me. <laughs> Level six. <laughs> oh no. Put that down. There you go. Okay. 35 damage? Jesus Christ! 35 damage. He got a a nat 20. So yeah. okay. he crit. Big. Yeah. Um uh, god damn. And that's his turn. Uh, I swear he just doesn't have luck. That's like the one thing he's <laughs> he I actually did half my HP in one shot. Holy shit. Yeah. Crazy. That's a, uh, it's on a recharge though. So that's not going to happen probably for the rest of the fight. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Next turn. Oh, guess what? <laughs> I would put it in. I would put it in. Uh, uh, six damage to uh, Kuro on a hit on a dirty 20. As this lizard Damn. just takes a bite out of you. I need a DC 13 con saving throw from Kuro. DC 13. I'm proficient. Ooh, that's a 19 on the die. Okay. You are not blinded and you take no damage. As he, like, hawks up a big blood loogie from his uh, neck uh. folds. Uh. It out. Uh, Look, I hope my power... But you're Sorry, go ahead. No, that was a, you're not blinded, so... Oh, okay. no damage. Yeah, I know my powers are disgusting, but, like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, uh, you guys hear a rumbling underneath the canyon. We haven't been doing our tar walk. Oh no! A timer! <laughs> Dear God, we are all fucked. This rampart's gonna come out here, and he's going to attack. Oh. <laughs> uh, spear. Dirty 20. Uh, and that does four damage. Oh, you hurt a lot less than the other guy. <laughs> and then he's going to attack again. And misses on an 11. <laughs> so many animations. <laughs> and then back to the top of the, oh, no, that's, back to the, top of the order. Uh, okay, I'm going to first use Fighting Spirit, give myself five temporary hit points, and advantage on my next attack is what it does, right? Uh, yes, on all weapon rolls until the end of your current turn. Okay, cool. Flame Tongue, I'm sorry, I forgot last time. Uh, it's not actually fire. It's like a bright neon pink flame that goes around it with a black slender blade in the middle. Still a scimitar. Um, and I'm going to look at the guy on the right, and I'm going to slash him. Okay. And that is a 26. That hits. 
And damage that is... Yeah! It's 10 slashing and 12 fire. Ooh. That guy's bloody. I bet you taste delicious. And I'm going to attack again. For a natural 20! Nice. Uh, if you do 13 damage, you kill him. Okay, well, I did 8 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9. He's dead. How do you get rid of him? So after the first attack, I'm going to, like, in the air, like, shift the blade. And then bring it, like, slightly down, uh, like, right in front of him. So it's, like, the thinnest of paper cuts. But I want him to just, like, spurt out blood like crazy, you know? Have you seen that old, uh, like, Japanese movie clip where the guy gets the sword and, like, mm. slashes him and it's like, Poof. it's the whole, yes. like, where the hose mm. malfunctions? Yes! That's exactly <laughs> what I want. <laughs> so <laughs> Alright, and is that your turn or are you moving? Remember this guy. Uh, he is charmed. I'm gonna run over here. That's 5, 10, 15, that's 20 feet. And that's, that's that'll be my turn. Good, okay. The car starts to bubble faster and more violently. <laughs> Good shit. Yes. Do um, you see, think maybe, they're tasty? Um, I mean, um, they're they're quite ugly. Who would want to <laughs> eat these guys? Disgusting. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to <clears throat> first bonus action uh, <laughs> retract my arm back to the five foot range. <laughs> uh, and then gain two temporary hit points as um, instead. Uh, I'll just bring it in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna swing on this guy. Like, you want to see something really gross? <laughs> no, but yes, do it anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, that's only that's a fifteen. Uh, fifteen uh, does not hit. Really? Oh wow. Okay, we're gonna do it again. But is he flanked? Uh, <laughs> twenty. Tits. Dirty. Tits. Beauty. Uh, that's seven damage. Okay, this guy is extremely low. I like shove my bone blade <laughs> like through his side, missing his vital organs, but rupturing stuff. So visceral. As you pull it out, you like take the chunk with you. It's, like, <laughs> it's just like part of my arm. What color is his blood? Is it red? Uh, it's yeah, it's a red like. It's a bright red. Decorey, take a taste. I would love to, but not off the ground. It's disgusting. I have a mind from a goblet. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> the star oh, of iron. The 21, she's going to do 9 damage to him. Damn. Damn. I see this, like, heavy iron, like, chunk, basically. She just throws it over her shoulder and slams down on him. I like it. I like it. Are the attack and damage rolls not supposed to be shown for us? I don't. I was having problems with that yesterday. I... It's I'm rolling public. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can see the descriptions, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's happening with that. I can't. I've looked through the settings on uh, the automation I have. And I can't figure out a way to show you guys the damage. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious if it was like a visual glitch or no, yeah. intended. I'm, I'm, it's all I, good. I asked in the, the Discord, so I don't know if they get back to me. Uh, good. And that's her turn. <laughs> Uh, Bear, what do you do? Um, hmm, what do I want to do? I'm gonna, the guy who's, like, charmed by me, uh, based on what I said, like, if he really, like, kind of believes right now, like, I might be his god, I'm just gonna be like, you need to, like, go walk into that, sacrifice yourself for me, man, it's, like, how we do things. Okay. How we do things around here. Uh, is that a persuasion check? Uh, based off like him walking into the the tar, or is that just a thing that you can do? Yeah, that yeah. I'm just, why well, I'm, I'm just trying to convince him to like listen to me and go in there. So I'll do persuasion. Yeah. Um, I get That's advantage because yeah. he's charmed by me. So yeah. first one is a. Oh my shit. god! 
27. <laughs> Holy shit. Roll again. Uh, Let's see if the second one is... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, <laughs> He does like a, a guard's salute and he goes... Yeah. So the walks oh, what did the he tower. say? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what do I honorable hear, sir. <laughs> wow, he's so polite. And he... <laughs> <laughs> he just like sinks in like Terminator 2 style into the. <laughs> They're just kind of like, oh man, that was. Oh wait, hold on. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> anyway, something was more like volcano. <laughs> you ever see volcano? I don't think know. I have. Yeah. <laughs> and he sinks into the lava. Oh. <laughs> <It was> horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was an easy, like, take someone out of combat without having to do too much. Um, Very well done, Bear. Asset to the team, really. Are you counting about the drill already? <laughs> That's why I eat the extra rations at night. <laughs> I'd say that was an actual slow movement and bonus left. All right. Um... <clears throat> what is a bonus action? Do I have anything like a bonus action? I don't think I do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move five, ten, step on the corpse, step over the corpse. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to there, and that's that's my turn. All right. Uh, go from there. Okay. Uh, this guy is going to start battling up here with this guy. God. We're supposed to be protecting her. I got her. Don't worry. On a 24. That's a miss. Oh, God. So only seven damage. Alright. Dang. You see like just a big uh, explosion of green energy from up there as she gets hit. Uh, no. Ooh, shit. What the fuck can this guy do? He's surrounded by friends. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do something. I think he's gonna, he's gonna swing on me. He's gonna see you and swing him. Uh, that's a 23 for 6 damage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Nakor, you got this guy? Bite. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. And he misses on a 6. <laughs> you gotta damage your bite. Slap him away, really? like, push his face away. <laughs> It's ah, like his jaw <laughs> is like hanging off. Like, oh. uh, and that is his turn. The tar bubbles even faster and it starts to like move and like uh, move away. Almost like there's like vibrations underneath that are shaking it off. Uh, that guy's dead. Macori. Flame tongue. All right. I'm going to swing flame tongue to 25. That hits. All right. Flame tongue damage. Nine slashing and nine fire. Woo. I would believe he's dead. Uh, let me. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Take a dip of his blood. What's it smell like? Uh, it smells like very soury, like very like kind of like buffalo sauce. Have you ever smelled like buffalo sauce on wings? <laughs> yeah. Oh like, yeah. Kinda stings your nose a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me while I no. vomit. He dies. Um, I'm in Nashville. <laughs> I still have my extra attack. Can I extra attack with a different weapon? Uh, you can like object interact to like if you just drop the weapon you have and pull out like whatever yeah. weapon. That's technically. That's. It's the DM's discretion of like, do you want to yeah. forego the dropping of weapons oh, yeah, as like an item interaction? Yeah. Just you don't have to drop the weapon; you can do another app. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'll use my light crossbow to shoot the guy. I'm gonna say uh, you probably don't have eyes on him just because of the steep elevation. Up at this guy. Yes, yeah, so you have eyes on him, but he, also he's not in combat. Okay. Uh, well, okay, stupid bird. Um. <laughs> Uh, then probably <laughs> not. Then. And let it be. <laughs> Use your action to give me a slap on the face to get me all amped up. 
<laughs> My extra attack will be a, a slight patting on the back. You got this, you got this, you got this. Pat Come on the butt. On. Yeah, yeah, you know, the rubbing with the shoulders. <laughs> Come on, yeah, you got this. Fly up there. Rip his head off. There's... I mean, kill him. I mean, uh, just beat him up. <clears throat> There's like, guys, guys, whoa, chill, chill. Remember, tar walk, vibrations right now. Oh, yeah, Bring it down, right. man. Um, You're right. Cool. Oh, that's my turn. I got nothing else I can do. Uh, <laughs> out of the tar, you see this black... A lion-esque sort of elemental come out as it uh, is like eating the corpse of the lizard and it just like slowly burns down and gestates down its stomach and you can see it Ooh. can I take it back and run <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping in here who disturbs my hundred year slumber oh I guess I reloaded well uh, you see these lizard assholes were quite annoying they're dancing and making a bunch of noise up here we came to shut them up and quite frankly help you out in the long term honestly believe me yeah we're only here to like make sure your hundred year slumber becomes 101 years man yes we had you very tempted to give nakari a persuasion check with the honestly truthfully that's such a <laughs> upsell. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's throw a persuasion check out. Oh boy, <laughs> persuasion. 12? Uh, that's bullshit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You're right. I apologize. I'll be going now. Don't mind us, you know. Yeah, like... It's not their fault. It was the lizards who were disturbing you, and like, we only came here because we're just trying to make our way through. You know how it goes. You know, you're doing the tar walk, and then some asshole like harsher vibes. The tar walk. And he starts like tar walking a little bit, and like. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, all right. You guys are chill. I'll tell my brother down there not to beat your ass. Yeah, no. Good night. <laughs> there, you are phenomenal. That was great. I lied to his face and he didn't kill me. Yeah, yeah. He's a guy. Uh, he seemed... They never tell about the time they got staked in the heart. They thought that's how you do with vamp. I mean, elves. It's crazy. Dude, you don't need to lie here. We all know what you are. Like, it's no big. <sighs> Fine, I admit it. I'm a half elf. Don't tell anybody though. I'm ashamed. Uh, Kuro, what are you doing? Um, I am using my bonus action to not do the temporary hit points thing and change it to making my climbing speed equal to my walking speed. Uh, <laughs> I can only imagine what that looks like. <laughs> it's like. I think it's like kind of like uh, like the ninja. Uh, what are those called? Like the the claw feet. Yeah, the claw feet and like the claw hand things. Mm. And like it's, but it's just like it's like bone barbs. <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> I mean, mind you, it's also like you can't really see the skin, but like the skin you can't see is just like uh, it's been I'm two just... years since I got this corpse. <laughs> 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 so it's like it's on its last legs. Yeah. Uh, it's mostly bone at this point, but um, <laughs> more wrapped up than normal. Um, and I am going to dash action because I think, uh, yeah, because that'll get. I have a movement speed of forty now, okay. so dash will get me eighty, plus a fifty foot climb, plus twenty laterally. So I'll push you there, and I'll give you elevation. I got you, Shastier. Don't worry. And then that's all they can do. <laughs> Actually, uh, action search comes back on a short rest, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna action search. Yes. <laughs> we got fighters. <laughs> fighters are they're so fun. Yes, they are. First attack. <laughs> uh, that is uh, twenty-four. Cool. Yes. Ooh, nice. Uh, that is 12 damage. Second attack. Uh, 14. Hits. Woo! Uh, 11 damage. Uh, 11 damage. Nice. Okay, I gotta roll something real quick. 
should have got a magic weapon. <laughs> okay, he did. Uh, it was, yeah, is that for me? It was that or adamantine armor because I have no armor still. <laughs> I took a, <laughs> a flavor item. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of billowing cape just for that. <laughs> yeah, I love billowing cape. <laughs> I always tell my players if you want billowing cape free of charge, like I don't care. <laughs> I just like it when you end the turn and you're like, I use my bonus action to make my cape flap in the wind. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, that's a great question. I look over to Corey and I'm like, man, I cannot climb up there right now. So he's got this. Like they both have it, you know, right? No big. Oh, yeah. I have no, no hesitation of Karataka's incredible ability to not only climb walls but also freak people out. He's going to freak them out. <laughs> if anything, he'll kill them. Yeah, <laughs> tell that he won't. Um. I am going to say, like, this might hurt you. I've never done it on a half elf. But let's see. And I'm going to lay on hands you to heal you for 10. And I you feel don't like think healing is bad for me. You feel like a, an autumn breeze brush up against your cheek. <laughs> Wonderful. Is it 10 HP? Yeah, 10 HP. I'm technically undead, but I don't know. I don't know. Infinity rules. I'm just hurt for tennis. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Please, your kindness, it hurts. <laughs> please stop. It's an oh, I'm immune to disease. I forgot. Alan. It's that. an uncomfortable cool breeze. Your it's hair so gets humid. Everywhere. Like maths to your head. <laughs> uh... In reality, all that's happening is I like pulled out like a leaf. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Back at you in the face with the leaf, like <laughs> a cool autumn breeze. Uh, and that's my turn, yeah. Okay, so uh, this guy is going to disengage and uh, gonna run away, and then. Uh oh. He's gonna fly back to kind of where he was. Shoot him down. And then, that's, that's my feet. There you go. Okay. And then he is done. He's dead. Car guys are cool. Uh, Nakori, what are you doing? Hmm. Are we letting him run? Or do we continue the hunt? I don't think we can chase him that far. Uh, I mean, I don't I could try something, but it's up to you guys. You underestimate the ability of a hungry a hungry elf. <clears throat> half elf, half elf. Yeah, you're right. Ah, sorry, half elf. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use Fighting Spear again to get advantage on my attacks. Okay. And I'm going to shoot him with my Light Crossbow. Okay. That's a 23. That hits. For 12 damage. Okay. <clears throat> And then my extra attack is a 20. Hits. Gah, for 7 damage. Uh, he's going to try to scamper away with the intent of, aler of alerting others. Uh, Something tells me we should not let him live. And not just because well, I'm thirsty, hungry, I mean blood there. I mean, we need to get him now. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I have to wait for my turn. <laughs> Uh, well, I let my turn. <clears throat> oh shit! I was gonna action surge. That was my plan. Is it too late for that? Yeah, turn pass. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kuro, what are you doing? What am I doing? I can't see him from here. You can't. Oh yeah, you can't. Actually, wait, uh, you hold should, on. You should be able to. You are on the same height elevation as him. Okay. You can't see him. Uh. Oh, oh fuck, it's probably... in. Yeah, it's he's basically there. Okay. Oh, okay. I see him now. Uh, I can't jump that far. As Can much as I would love to jump thirty feet and pull it out <laughs> of the air. <laughs> you can try. Hold on, let me see. What do I get? Anything cool? Damn it! A tenth level, I do. That could do, actually. I would get something that's useful. Reach increases by five. 
Climbing speed, no. Walking speed increases by 10 feet. Does that count for anything? Gives me 50. Um, okay. What's the DC if I want to try to jump it? <laughs> okay, it's 50 feet. That's a lot. That's a lot. How many D6 of damage is that? <laughs> I, th it's, I think it's. It was one D6 for, the, uh, for, for ten feet. Yeah. Ten feet, so you were five D6. It's not How even a fireball. Do you have? I have forty naturally. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think. You could technically. <laughs> If you want to do this, I'll allow you this one time. If you want to jump from here to here and then run and jump from here to here, you can do that. But you're, you're, but you're risking fall damage off 50 feet. That, that's my trade-off. Okay, so like I have to roll like a, an athletics, athletics check. Twice, if, to want to, if you want to get where you're going to go. Okay. Uh, okay, so, okay, so you're saying I can do 20 here. Mm -hmm. And then like... <clears throat> I use the rest i could go like there ish mm -hmm. oh, okay i got this i got this we're gonna Thank do God it we're on a timer. <laughs> <laughs> i got i'm proficient and like i've got i've got strength so athletics is not that bad all right so uh <laughs> roll athletics for the first one i guess yep. all right uh, hold on let me just bring up my sheet plus seven 19. Ooh. that works okay uh and i'll drag you across because the walls okay. are there you fly across i'm coming for you he's doing it I he's believe... doing it get your score cards ready <laughs> 12. oh no that will not cut it as you fall right there <laughs> Now I still have climb speed. Can I like, <laughs> ah, like try to how slow much climb, myself? How much climb speed do you have? So my climb speed is equal to my walking speed, <laughs> right now, because I didn't change my skeletal form yet. Okay, so I will roll fall damage normally and then half it. Okay. Ah! Five d six, I think. Yeah. Yeah, five d six. I really thought he got that. I really thought he was gonna do it. Yeah, it seems like he got halfway and then he just oh, fell straight I down. Just told you to do that. Hold on. This is like this is like cyberpunk all over again. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. jump off this across these twenty foot crates and <laughs> just fucking beat. Oh my take, god! Oh no! Damage. Twelve damage. <laughs> okay, that's not horrible, but yeah. shit. Because you have to with your climb speed. Oh. <laughs> and the, the the lizard goes. <laughs> He just called you a slur. Kill him. I mean, well, um, he, you a slur. <laughs> <first. laughs> he said, I hate fun guys. Shasti is going to come over here and she's going to yell down to uh, Bear and she says, If I jump, can you catch me? What? Right now? <laughs> I don't want to be up here anymore. Do it quick. I need to do something. So get your fat. I mean, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's going to roll uh, an athletics check. Or the 19. Uh, roll athletics. Roll athletics as well to see if you can catch her properly. Can I assist because I'm right next to him? Are you proficient in athletics? God, no, I'm not. Wait. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all right. I got I'm a not. ten. <laughs> oh. uh, I got you. I got you. I almost had. <laughs> oh, you only take two damage. Okay. Only take two damage. Great job, Bear. Great job. Fantastic job. I think she broke my arm. <laughs> Ow. She lands. She goes. Oof, a bit of a rough landing, but I think we'll manage. We'll come back down, just here. Uh, and then he is going to... Oh, is that my turn? Oh, shit. I, I, I skipped your turn. My bad. Okay, go ahead. 
Oh, because if that was my turn, I totally was going to let it fall on the ground. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I messed up. My bad. My bad. <laughs> um, all right. If I move, let's see. Five, ten. If I move, like, to here, mm -hmm. how high up is he? 50 feet. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm gonna look up at him and go, "You son of a bitch, get down here!" And hold person. Okay. Ooh. Uh, How does that work on flying? Because they just fall. I'll I mean, it would fall. I will count it as a fall. So let's see if this works. Uh, Here's my. Ooh, I don't have the. Oh, shut up. Oh, I have to target. Ah. I love hold person. <laughs> Oh, that's loud. <laughs> uh, there we go. So he fails. Oh my god. He is now going to take... Because okay. everything's a crit, right? Yes. Yeah. Ah. So he's going to take 5d6. Max die. Fall and die. <laughs> takes 28 damage falling down. And he dies. <laughs> He is literally like the splat is perfectly just like that is what happened. He falls and just <laughs> breaks his neck going down and just. Like, I look like I look over at the Shasta and the Corey and I'm like, ooh, I I only wanted him to come down here. I didn't mean. Oh man, that you, you did perfectly. Fun. That was good stupendous. Job, the greatest thing I've seen today. Yes. I, I even forgot to tour walk. Oh no. And I just start tar walking around in the circle here. <laughs> so I don't think I have to worry about that. We're friends with the tar people now. Yes. <laughs> Actually, thanks to you, Bear. You did that as well. Yeah, you're like, honestly, kind of carrying. Yeah, uh, you know what? <laughs> if I, if, you know, we weren't the leaders of this team, I think you should be. But you're not, so, you know, <laughs> follow yeah, mine, please. You're, you're taking all the glory away from us. I'm sorry. I will try not to take the glory anymore. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, uh. What direction next? I think we should head up right. Uh, we have to head through, head straight through, and we've literally just started going through these canyons, so we're still have a ways. All right. All right. Uh, and she's gonna point over in that direction. <laughs> I like look at her. I'm like, listen. If there's like another small crevice, you need to let me know, cause I don't want to get heckled again. <laughs> Help, there's a small crevice. Oh, no. Uh, I, I do need acro an acrobatics check. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Uh, 17. You pass. 16? Pass. Ooh, 19. Yes. I must have worked pass. off those extra rations in that fight. <laughs> you worked off the Ooh. rations, I love it. <laughs> Just had to start your cardio, that's all it is. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even do much cardio, but that's great. <laughs> yeah, men mental cardio, you know? And you guys can pass yeah. through here fine? Yes. I actually can't see. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Right, take us back. Take us back. No, no, no. Take us back. But why, huh? I see a bird. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, give me a performance check to see how well you do. Throw, throw my voice, you know, like, I don't know, over here somewhere. Uh, all right, my first one. Ooh, dirty twenty, and because it's charisma based. There we go, twenty-four. Uh, if you can mark, where would you want to go? Uh, I was like over here. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. Okay. You zoom out. Flies over there. <laughs> Man, that is the third time today. Well, in two days now that I've had to. Do a Red Hawk mating call. It's not fun. Oh, wow. You should coin that term. It's kind of catchy. Yeah, I feel bad, though, because, like, I'm kind of just giving them, like, false hope, you know? Yeah, you know, finding love in a canyon, I hear it's hard news. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, fuck these birds. <clears throat> Another tar pit. Oh, God. Does it taste the same? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's still par. Yeah, it's still par. <laughs> this one's tappy, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> One of these days, it's gonna. Oh, okay, that one looks good. All right, is this a tight crevice again? Uh, yes, it is. Oh God. Um, acrobatics. Okay. Oh fuck, twelve. Uh, you cannot fit, fit through there. Oh. oh. oh Nineteen. Oh. American. Oh, look, someone needs to oh, wow. stay off the rash. I only got a nine. Uh, okay, we're basically just split again. Uh, everybody is, uh, we switch roles, so basically you guys cannot move. You have to climb up over or you will find a new one. Uh, Fuck, what is the logic in this? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Um, <laughs> it's, the logic. it's all crazy. But listen, 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 listen. There's yes. more of those dudes around the corner. Ugh. But I got a plan. So, like, okay. stay here and give me, like, I don't know, ten minutes, five minutes. If you oh want to, like, God. climb up, I, like, point over here. If you want to, like, climb up, you can try, but don't, like, hurt yourselves. That's the size of a rather large building. I don't know if I can climb that high. I believe in you. I know you can climb it. Give me exactly 10 minutes. Okay. Um, I will try to give you as much time as possible. All right. I'm going to go into this. And I'm going to try my best. All right. If I can do it, you can do it. it. Just do the fan thing. Just do the fan thing. Yeah, I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages. Okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, and then I am going to... They step my ass in there. Uh, I'm going to go right. Oh, I'm targeted. That's why I can't move. Hold on. I'm targeted. Right here. Okay. So that is, where is it? Under my features, I think. All right. So bonus action, face step in there. Uh, and just in their tongue, because I'm... Or no, I I guess I can't speak their tongue, but I'm just gonna know what they say. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna try and charm uh, this dude and this dude with it. Okay. So DC 16 wisdom save. back the same thing you did but it means nothing and yeah so perfect <laughs> yeah yeah um i am here to show you the ways of the tongue <laughs> and this guy's like, Away. who are you Where's the are you gonna try and charm this guy too uh I, well, I'm gonna no. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look at him, and I'm gonna point into the tar and right. I'm just gonna go go. <laughs> so Command him. Is it go to the charm. Uh, okay, uh, he fails. Oh yeah. my god! Okay, no. So, wait, hold on. Let me let me look. Go. I would just say he won't go into the tar because he know he'll die. Oh. Yeah, because I'm thinking, isn't there a thing where it says like it won't do something that it, it's like it wouldn't do or like? It uh, no, that's suggestion, I believe, right? Oh. Okay. Yeah, command. They have to do it. Okay. Yeah. Then, oh wait, no, it does say if it's direct. Uh, no, I'm sorry. If it, yeah, if it's harmful. Yeah. Then okay, he will not go into the tar. He go. Well, he can at least go that way, right? Like, further back. Yeah, so he'll, like, dance around the tar. He'll, like, put his toe in the tar. Like, he's testing it, how hot it is. You know, uh, uh, tar. Yes, I am your god now. It's okay. We're here to have a party. Lovely. 
Uh, He's so sick tree peeling. Back here, Dana. Climbing. <laughs> climbing. 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 Yeah, I'll be climbing too, but I got, I'm going to use my, oh, wait, no, because my form probably only lasts, it only lasts a minute. Shoot. Oh, and I can't use it till another short rest. <laughs> well, We're both just not, yeah. half climbing. <laughs> it's only got a speed of 40. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say over that time period, you guys uh, can climb up and get up there, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, drag you up there. Oh, Lord. I see potential blood. I mean, uh, target. I mean, lizards. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. I see two of them get that little glint in their eye. Charmed? Yeah. Ah, uh, getting charmed vibes. Ah, uh, yes. And I see good vibes as well from Bear. I like that guy. Yeah, you should promote he's him. So cool. <laughs> Uh, do we jump off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I'm like drawing my like my regular like longsword. Play dunk. <laughs> like, shit. Hey. Hey. Aim for the bushes. <laughs> I, I heard once in a story if you find uh, a hay bale, you'll be totally fine. But I don't see any hay bales. Are we going into initiative? I was trying to keep us out of initiative, but if they're gonna, you know, I can't. Well, what are these other guys doing? Are they like this other they're... guy is going into the uh, the the tar? He, he's like dancing around the tar pit, trying to not go in it. And this other guy is. Oh God, we see the guy. Is not charm. Uh, oh wait, hold on. I mean, do that. Not bad. Uh, and he's sort of like trying to snap his buddies out of it right now. Hey. Wait, you should like relax. We are. He I am here to show you the ways of the tar. I'm gonna switch to every language I know: primordial, infernal, abyssal. Let's see if any of them guys. They're they're strictly lizard folk speakers. <sighs> Damn. I don't know about you. You come in here. You tell me to put the tar in my mouth. I don't know. Oh, I said nothing about putting tar in mouths. <laughs> the other two strong people are like, tar? And they start like picking up like the little bits off the ground and like trying to eat it. Oh no, guys, whoa. Uh, I'm gonna like kind of go over to the tar, kind of lean down and be like, hey, like, listen, man, if you're in there, can you like come eat these lizard dudes? They're really harsh in the vibes up here again. Uh, you just... I'm gonna like stop my foot a couple times. They're really being assholes. <laughs> Is that the cue? I can't remember the cue. I, I, I'm, I, yeah, me neither. <laughs> I think we just go for it. <laughs> Can you jump that Whoa! far? Oh yeah, that one guy's far. Um. Can I oh, do like? Oh buddy, you're here. <laughs> can I do like a dope like jump? Sneaky jump between here. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll roll a uh, acrobatics. <laughs> good night. Ag athletics. Or athletics, my bad. Athletics. Okay. <laughs> so many A's. It's a twelve. And with that, uh, <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> There goes my hero. Take 14 damage. Uh, Watch him as he goes. As you just <laughs> eat shit again off the ground. And I like look over. What have I told you about jumping, man? <laughs> and oh. the tar elemental is going to go, he is harshing the vibes. He the harshing the vibes. But not as much as these guys. I point to the two lizard folk who aren't charmed by me. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> this, this, no, no, this doesn't mean combat, but well, I'm just rolling it just so everybody. Oh my so god! Your twenties. <laughs> All right. I, I I like. I'm like on the ground. I think I like hit my nose a little bit. I like try to restart it. <laughs> One of your legs like broke off, and your legs just like. Oh, there we go. You're working. 
<laughs> Who's our supervisor? I don't know what you're talking about. I just got it. <laughs> he goes, the next person that moves, I'm going to kill them. Okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to. I had my sword in my hand. <laughs> it was like right beside me. I'm just going to like swing it up and like try to stab it into his neck. <laughs> All right. So oh, yeah. I, I, he oh, means no. literally. So if you move from your spot, he's going. That's the first. Yeah. That's the team he's going to aggro on. So right now you're all good. Oh, just me. No, no. So basically, oh. if if and if any of these guys were to move, then he would attack like that team pretty much. Oh. So I cannot move, or else he will start attacking you. Push him, push him. Push him. Push him. I have an idea. Don't worry. <laughs> there you go. I just needed to get to my shitty turn. All the way at the end of my shitty turn. <laughs> I got an 11. What did um, you get? All right. I got a four. Oh. Uh, yeah, where am I? And then, sh uh, you're okay. down there. So, Sean yeah, is like, it, you can't like get like a save on it, or is it, is it a wisdom save every round? Um, I gotta see. I don't remember what that one said. It's a charm person. And, or, or command, it, I should say. Or charm. No, charm. Suggestion. Charm. No, Suggestion. So it's just like, uh, yeah, it's just charm from the face step thing. Hmm. So it, the the way it, if you look at the wording of it right now, it's just um if they fail, they're charmed by me for one minute or until me or one of my companions deals damage to them. Okay, gotcha. So there's no save. Okay. There's yeah, there's just the, there's just the initial one, and then it's just a minute unless you know my bone guy over there starts stabbing one. They're like, whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> Hearing <laughs> those words of um, whoever moves next, I'm gonna kill. <laughs> I just like I remain perfectly motionless, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to. I just try to see if I have anything. Um. Okay. <laughs> You're charmed guy. Um, they do they just take? Oh, there is it. Wait, what spell did you actually use? It's my face step. It, oh, it's your face step. Okay. Yeah. So like the Ladron, their face step. You select two target creatures after you like wherever you step if they're within ten feet, and you they have to like they can get be charmed by you. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay. I I think I, I got a really stupid plan. Um. Me too. I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> I have one like, too. <laughs> it's like, okay, I hear you. Uh, like to the guy who like said that. Yeah. To. Yeah. The. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I hear you. Can I just get some help? Help up here. <laughs> Can someone help me up? <laughs> yeah, man. I look over at the guy that's no. me. Can like you to the guy right up? beside me. Like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So who, who's asking? Hey, buddy. For, for help? Are you Skuro? I'm asking. Okay. I'm asking the guy beside me. I assume you're gonna tell him to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm also gonna be like, yeah, help him up. And can you like move to like go go over and get him up like physically? <laughs> All right, give me a persuasion check with advantage. Uh, me or uh, Kuro? Okay. Since you're asking. Uh, all right, that is a 14. Okay. And a 24. <laughs> and he moves. <laughs> and he moved! He moved! Ready to I said I don't move at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is going to uh, <laughs> like slide over here. <laughs> and 32 damage. Uh, oh, that's one attack, and then the next attack. Oh my god. He missed. Crush! <laughs> he missed. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, big guy. Um,. You should talk to your friends. They, we we just talked to them. They're really chill. We've been trying to help you. These guys have been annoying your slumbers, your hundred year slumbers. I don't like talking across canyoners. Well, we're just we're just trying to help you out here. You know, we're not trying to 
Like, I'm just saying, if, if, if you let us go, we'll be out of your hair forever. But these lizard folk, I don't know what they're up to. Uh, they uh, seem here to stay. <laughs> he nods uh, in, in acknowledgement of what you said. Uh, all right. Uh, Naroki, what are you doing? Okay, so... I'm going to tell you exactly what I want to do. Because if I can't do it, I'm going to do something else. Okay. I want to jump off this cliff. Okay. And I want to drop kick this guy into the tar. Okay. <laughs> you can do that. You will be the next target for uh, the, tar, the tar guy. So whenever his turn comes back up again, he's going to beeline if no one else moves. So like if the cue basically like goes like that so you okay okay so if i if i move and i hit that guy it calls him to move but then feel? he dies back to you <laughs> do it do it don't I'm worry it. i'm doing it i can run, <laughs> get run. that's a i can yeah. <laughs> okay give me an athletics <laughs> check on the jump athletics can it be acrobatics Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, acrobatics. Um, oh, God. 14. Okay, you can jump to get him. <sighs> and then roll but 5d6 like, for damage. 5d6. Uh, it's on here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 14, 14. damage. <sighs> can you move me down? I'm stuck on a wall. Thank you. And I am trying to jump, like, as I'm falling, drop kicking this guy into the tar. <laughs> it's like the biggest missile drop kick that you've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so this guy immediately uh, <laughs> dies in the, in the tar. <laughs> Just gets <laughs> sucked up into the tar during the 14 damage and the damage you got from the tar. Uh, and you are right there, and then the tar locks elemental or locks eyes with you as he points to you. So you think you can catch me, huh? And I'm gonna fucking sprint. I'm gonna use all my movement. <laughs> uh, this is 15 feet to go here. And then I've got 15 more. As you're running, I'm like, don't forget your car walk! <laughs> tar walking, tar walking, tar walking. And this is 15. That was my action to jump down and drop kick that guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. <laughs> Start climbing. Do I want to action surge to run? Or... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to action surge to run. Okay. <laughs> uh, because I... I'm going to die if I don't. <laughs> um, so that's an additional 30 feet. So I will end up right there. Uh, if you hit control and then hit spacebar, you, you can kind of fly to where you're going from the okay. measure. Gotcha. Control speed. Okay. Um, yeah, crazy vampire run. <laughs> yeah, and that's your turn? Hissing as I go. <laughs> uh, this guy, seeing his buddy get hit into the tar, but also seeing that he can't move, uh, is going to try and pull uh, there. Oh. And he misses. Uh, and then he's gonna try and blind you. I need a DC 13 con save from there. Mm, okay. Oh, that's weird. It didn't. Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if I. All right, I'm gonna roll this, but I technically might have a higher one, depending. Well, you pass anyway. Okay. It didn't let... It, for some reason, it's not adding my charisma to my my own saves. Mm. Um, let me make sure I didn't turn off the... No, I didn't. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway... Uh, uh, all right. Uh, after that, he's gonna 
stay there and not move. Uh, Bear, what's your turn? Uh, I'm gonna look at the. So the one guy's probably not sure. I guess technically my allies didn't attack him, so I don't know if it would. That's up to you, I would say. Like he got attacked, not by one of my people, but uh, I'm gonna look at his friend and be like, "Yo, man, that dude harshing the vibes. Like, can you tar walk over to your friend and help him up?" <laughs> Give me a persuasion check at an advantage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, dude, dude, right, 20, uh... and let's see, yeah, okay, 22. Bro. Yes, sir. I just, and then I just, I just stay in place and I look at the other one that I was like, kind of tried to blind me. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, that's it, yeah. Guy's gonna go up. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> 49 damage, he's dead. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> okay, a, we can't fight this guy. He rolled a 29. On, that, was, that was a crit, I'll say. That was a crit. Okay. Uh, okay. Still. Yeah, so he just <laughs> does not matter. Boosh. No. He does not. <laughs> and I think he's gonna. He has even multi pack. He can do it again. Crush. <sighs> God. And he misses. Wow, this guy's fucking. He's lucky. lucky. Yeah. And then this guy is gonna. I guess he really can't do anything. So he's just gonna stay there. Kuro. Hmm. I don't know if I can do anything. <laughs> I can't really persuade anyone. I don't want to move. <laughs> <laughs> facing away from me <laughs> <laughs> can i stealth away i think he's looking directly at you <laughs> oh right oh yeah yeah because the guy okay yeah you're right you're right he was like there or something okay but, hey buddy like i'm telling you you let like you just let us go we'll be out of your hair you don't have to worry about us you don't have to get your claws dirty like, just, just let me and my guys go. You can eat these lizard folk all you want. That's fine. They were jerks anyway. <laughs> they were jerks. And that is the end of your turn. <laughs> okay. I think I just, like, try to persuade them. Oh, yeah, give me persuasion. You know? Give me persuasion. Okay. <laughs> to see if, if you're like helping I... your case at all. I mean, probably not, because I have a negative one to persuasion, so. <laughs> I'll try and recover it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> they were well harshing done. my vibes. You make a good point, little man. Uh, that's clutch. Yes. Harsh I'm not that little, but okay. <laughs> can we go? <laughs> you can eat that last one. <laughs> yeah, you guys can go. You're good. I say in draconic um, <laughs> to the last lizard man. Uh, nice. Uh, I tell him good luck. <laughs> 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 and I, guys, we can go. Let's go. Please. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Nikori already left. But... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Come on. Just, just the eight. Oh, my God. What happened? That's like a... It's a pile of bones right there. He got fossilized. <laughs> 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 that's indeed right he's a fossil <laughs> come along come will, along uh, nothing to see here and the combat as uh this guy will just uh basically destroy the rest of these people uh let's just see for funny how <laughs> dead uh, <laughs> and uh what's this guy doing 50 dead that's 50 <laughs> 50 damage. <laughs> Please. I just, just as he's like going back and there, I'm like, thanks, man. Sorry for harshing the, the like mood for a sec, but they're gone now. I'm gonna tar walk away. See you later, little man. And he proceeds.
proceeds back into the tower. Again, I'm not. Oh, my friends, you're alive! I am so oh. glad. <clears throat> I was scouting the area after running away. Oh, good, yeah, you good. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I've never seen a half elf run so fast. Uh, actually, I'm a. I have a confession. I'm not a. I'm not a half elf. I'm just an elf. <laughs> Shoulder, I'm like, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Yes, I know. It's shocking, right? All the signs were there, and I, I've been in denial for so long. Anyway, let's let's continue. Shasti, I don't don't bear witness to my tears. It's unholy. Okay, vampire. You're a vampire. Like it's fine sense. Vampire. Yeah, no, you're totally pure evil, kind of, but not really. Pure evil. First of all, I am. Hold on. I am a great person of high morale and no, no, no like, less I, at all. And... I mean, I can tell you're undead because of my sense. Like, you know how that works? No, actually, I don't. I guess I was asleep for a thousand years. I, <clears throat> I was asleep for a while. Oh, okay. So, like, I have this sense thing that I can do, like the leaves on the wind sometimes. Okay. And like they tell me like, hey whoa, demon, hey whoa, undead, hey whoa, angel. Ooh. Um and like if I... I'm doing it right now, I get like a would I get a ping that <laughs> that um Jordan's guy, uh Kurataki is also undead or <laughs> uh, I'm not technically yeah, you're not technically undead, right? You're I'm a mycelian, yeah. so it's a form of life. The K is a form I get, of life. I get a vibe yeah. from doing that. You're like, um, and yeah. So like, I don't mean any offense. Like, it's totally cool. I don't really, you know, you haven't done anything, so I'm not gonna like harsh up the mood. But oh yes, please. It'd be a quite a big pain in the neck if you did. I'm just saying. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Let's be. Let's get going. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that tar over there? Hey, I see tar over there. Anyway, let's. Uh, yeah, there's some tar over there. There's tar everywhere. There's tar? And we will transfer over to uh, the journey that uh, is ahead of you. So you guys were traveling for about wow. a week and a half, and this is basically the other week and a half that uh, happens while you guys are traveling. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna get some water and go to the bathroom, and then we'll do uh, what happens after. I like this group. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're harsh in the vibes, bro. Like, dude, fucking my character when I when I first like wrote him up was like supposed to be like pretty serious. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just like I didn't. Know. So I wrote a really serious backstory for Nikori, but because of his happenstance, he does not know any of it, and so he's just in denial. That's his whole thing. Is he's in denial. <laughs> nice. Uh, I short backstory for my guy. <laughs> just, I just like I just want to have a fun, chill dude who also yeah. like. I got you. Mean you got me? You gave me a paper cut. You gave me a paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me. You got oil on my shoes. Basically, yeah. yeah it's so funny. <laughs> like his um his patron is like. It's a, it's like a hexblade patron, but like because of his attitude, hates him. <laughs> she like hates the shit out of him. So, so his his um packed weapon is a spear <laughs> that he just can call, but it's like a really short spear. It's almost like one of those like half spear things if you've ever seen them, like a good like compactable one. Yeah, um, that's like all for like shit edge and stuff <laughs> and he hates calling it because he knows like she doesn't like him and hex <laughs> love that yeah and he his he doesn't serve a god um he just got really pissed off one day and the the connection i was like you need some connection so his connection is like about 50 years ago he met this the scion doing some stuff and he's like <laughs> oh you're really chill i like you man <laughs> How about you fuck right off, eh, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> they could both speak in abyssal, so that's what like made them like, oh yeah, it's cool, bro. No, no big. <laughs> oh my, my head cannon for the sign was like he's just from New Jersey, where he just is angry for no reason all the time, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, his his in his backstory like that I wrote for him. 
like on the side or whatever it was just he was once like this like really cool guy and just like loved life and loved people and then there was like this big war and he was like this huge like this hero in it like he did these things saving like towns and cities and then the like this group of wizards was like you're really amazing he's like i know i'm, I'm like having to keep saving people like i love what we're doing and they're like yeah and they like killed him and transferred <laughs> soul essence into this warforge thing and they're like all right cool now you can do it for us forever and now he's just <laughs> bitter and annoyed <laughs> oh that's messed up i've been kerfuffled yeah so uh let me go grab water real quick oh cool, cool. does this week count as a long rest uh yes so basically we're gonna go through uh some social encounters that happened along your way Ooh. to the Shasta Temple. Okay. So these were odd miscellaneous things that happened. Uh, and um, the Shasta was like, uh, what's her relation to us again? Uh, you were got... sent out by um, the Honored Matrons. Uh, which is like the, if you remember like the, the matriarch that sent you out to go steal the water or anything like that. Uh, they worked for them. Uh, the Shastier is this figure that is a symbol of peace and uh, sort of against the conflict that's happening right now because you're currently in the terraforming wars right now, which is basically <laughs> how you started. So you're trying to basically get the Shastier back to the Shastier temple to try and stop the war from happening because it's destroying okay, both yeah. sides right now. Gotcha. So she's like a big, like, um... Uh, like, activist, I guess? Uh, sort of like a divine activist, if, if that's, okay. like, that's the closest thing. She cool. basically is half, like, peace activist, half, like, truth-sayer, sort of, like, you know, giving mm -hmm. counsel and stuff. So it's a good, like, neutral point for conversations, basically. Okay. Right. Sorry about that. You're good, you're good. Oh, you're good. Yeah, so we're just going to go over some notable social things that happened while you guys were traveling to the Temple of the Shastier. Uh, I guess we can, I can roll a, a three-sided die. What's, a, uh, what's the game that uses a three-sided die? Is it Dungeon Crawl Classic, I think? I don't know. I don't know, fan. I do know the only reason I have a three-sided die is because of Wild Magic Barbarians. It's the only reason I have one. Okay. So, uh, while you guys are walking, uh, I want to make it clear that the tone is pretty terrible. Uh, it is constantly <laughs> storming. It is incredibly hot outside. Very little water. Very little food uh, along this way. So, really, anything to break up just the mountains and mountains of sand that are between you and your destination is anything is uh, interesting at, the, at this point. So, what you guys see is a large boat and i don't know if you guys have seen a boat before i guess that's my question to you would your characters know what a hmm. boat is i would say I, yeah i was gonna say i think i would have at some point seen boats yeah okay and i think i've lived long enough like in different forms that i've seen them okay so, yeah, i'm gonna say no no the core is not Okay. Because he lost his memory when he came back. Yeah, so this is a large, what I would describe now as a galleon. Uh, it, it's incredibly out of place. And it looks, it's destroyed and it's been scavenged and taken apart and looted. But it's relatively new in the damage that's done to it. So you walk up next to the Shastier uh, as she's sort of like running her hand across the boat and trying to... Uh, see what anything is because she doesn't know what this is she's never seen a boat before what is this contraption a prison no they Are use sure? them to something far worse great swaths of water yeah water yeah it's um I... have you never seen a large uh body of water I can't quite say for certain, but I feel like I have at one point. But it's oh. 
It's like on like a very blurry picture. But it's hard to imagine. Especially it's... with it being such a scarcity nowadays, you know? Mm -hmm. It's truly yeah. a sight to behold. The blue gems of the the seas just fill your eyes for as far as they are. the eye can see. It's magnificent. Ah. And Kuro, you had a vastly different experience than I did. Oh, I I I <laughs> oh, I hate boats. I get real, real seasick, like, all the time. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. So seasick, I like, I like, put my hand like this and like, all right, so like a boat goes like this, right? Um, and like that motion just makes me like, <laughs> Yeah, okay. And I press the digitate, like, just me go. <laughs> I, I see. Uh, it sounds terrible. <clears throat> Fuck boats, am I right? <clears throat> anyway, uh, what's one doing oh, here is the question. But they're used for naval travel. It's uh, quite a sight to see one in the desert. Yeah, and you guys can make any sort yeah. of checks that you would want that would pertain to, you know, perception, investigation, nature, anything that you think can... Be applied to this boat. Yeah. Um, perception. Okay, I got. Perception. I'm not good in any of this. Can I do a religion check on the boat? Yes, you can. <laughs> I was, I was thinking about that too. You can do a religion check. Do you? I have I have on, the on the perception, uh, you see that there are fresh footprints that go inside the boat. Oh. Also on the boat. You can't really make out the logo or the the symbol that's on the boat, but you see what looks to be an O. I got a dirty 20 on my religion. On your religion check, I'm going to say this is half religion, half arcana, just for what I want to describe. Uh, this okay. boat emanates with a lot of divine energy. Interesting. Huh. That's really odd. Yes. Can I do a survival check to see what kind of footprints? Like if these are like humanoids or like yeah. monsters or something like that? Uh, 21. These are fresh humanoid footprints. Hmm. It looks like potential... I mean, it smells like humanoids. Yeah. Hmm. It, this is really odd because I almost feel like attuned in a way to the boat you know like you get a good vibe i would get a good vibe you might not but i get a good vibe that just feels discriminatory i can't even tell you why well okay man like i don't mean it in like a i mean it like a, undead versus it's like because i'm an elf isn't it huh it's because Guessing you're against elf. the ears or is it the nose it's the it's the half elf slash like elf vibe well, I'm sorry to upset you. But, like, but... joking aside, it's more like, do you like holy magic? Because I don't think you would. I don't know. Do you want me to, like, try maybe a little radiance on you and see how it feels? Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I'm just, I'm just shooting it out there. I didn't mean to, you know, I don't mean it in a mean way. <laughs> no offense taken, no offense taken. I think we should... Explore the surrounding areas because if these are fresh humanoid footprints, there might be some gains to be made if you catch my drift. Yeah, as long as uh, she doesn't mind, I point to the Shastier. Just no, you guys are doing fine. Uh, you know, I'd like a little break, the legs are a little tired, and you guys seem to be in the, into this bot. Uh, well, whatever. Why don't, why don't you hole up here for now, and we'll get going. Okay. Uh, and she nods and walks in deeper into the boat carcass. Didn't recognize my boat pun. I got it. I got your boat pun. Hole. <laughs> Hall. <laughs> and laugh. Just... <laughs> uh... Um, Alright, you guys want to go like exploring and see if we can find these people? Yes. Sure. Okay. 
what checks are you guys doing to try and find these guys? Investigation. Okay. Perception. Negative one to my intelligence. I got a six. The sand what? just moves the tracks away and you really ah, can't see anything. Ah, my eyes. <laughs> oh man, I'm only well today. Uh, 23 on perception. Ooh. Oh, okay. Perception. You see the tracks lead into the carcass of the boat, spread out a little bit and kind of meander around, and then they disappear. Hmm. Like, you don't see any tracks that would lead back out. <coughs> Interesting. They're definitely in there. Um, hmm. Can I make a... Hmm... All right, hear me out. Do you, Kuro, do you relate that to us? Of like, oh, there's tracks inside. They seem to just be inside and stop there. I would say, that, yeah, I would tell you. All right. Uh, do you guys want me to do a performance or a persuasion? Ooh. I would love to see you perform. Quite honestly. Yes, please. Really All right. Um, so I'm going to try a performance check of like, I'm going to like enter the boat. And like, if you're in here... I have arrived. Your lord has sent me here to you. Uh, he or she has told me of your struggle, and they want me to get you guys back safely. What? What's let's the see what, let's again? See what the performance <laughs> roll says. Um, <laughs> all right, let me just check. Is it sneak attack? Because I think it was sneak attack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> because I have the actor feet, I get advantage on performance. Ooh, right. I like that. Sick. <laughs> thank God. Oh, thank, thank God. God. Oh, if you hit, uh, if you hit control and uh, do the roll, that's with advantage, oh, I think. If you hit control. Alright, well, yeah. 11 and a, so 15 overall. 15. Uh, you walk into the hole where the footprints are, you say your speech, and dust just goes off the dunes in the hole. Nothing happens. Man, I, I look back at the other I really wish I knew what guy. I can't remember right now. Um, Hold on. And I'll switch through my languages and basically say the <laughs> same thing. It's just in abyssal, in infernal, in primordial, uh, in common. You, Como esta? <laughs> after going through all your languages, you think it is not necessarily a language barrier that's stopping anybody from coming out. I'm going to just walk around and kick up some sand, like where the steps seem to end, and like kick up sand and stuff and see. Okay. Um, you kick up sand, you start moving it around, and then you feel uh, a very fast and quick uh, presence put you in some sort of like arm bar choke. Immediately. Uh, let's roll. Uh, strength v. Strength. Let's see here. Yo, okay, or, my no, strength. Not, not strength v. Strength, sorry. Uh, let's do a, a normal grapple. Uh, what, that, athletics? You can do athletics or acrobatics. So I, athletics? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, that was... Ooh. Is that a 20? Oh, it's like halfway no. there for That's, me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. So, uh, he fails to lock it in and you guys roll out. And you uh, look up. I embrace him regardless. <laughs> he doesn't lock it in, but I lock him in and just kind of roll with him. Like, it's okay, man. <laughs> so, okay, as you guys are rolling around, then, um, where is everybody else in relation to him? Are you guys seeing like, um, the, the entrance of the hole or can... just outside? Yeah, I th like, I would have moved back. Like, because, like, obviously, the initial idea was like you were going to draw them out. So yeah. I think I like it kind of took up like a bit of a hiding spot <laughs> nearby. I don't know. <laughs> Can't picture where that would be, but you know. Okay. Um, somewhere crouched. All right. I feel like I'd be in like shadow. in the same vicinity as Kuro, just okay. watching. Uh, so as four other figures shoot out of the sand, and as one is trying to uh, to grapple you, but you're grappling him. Um, anybody can give me a perception check. Just, yes, to, please. just to see like the clothing that they're wearing and 
you uh, 15. Ah, I keep dropping my D20s. Oh my god, I keep dropping them. That's that. Uh, free my end! Free my end! <laughs> 15 on perception. 15. Uh, so you recognize these people as these are traveling nomad traders that took up uh, residence in this ship uh, for the night. And they, but, they were like, why are you here? Are you following us? No, I just, we just happened to be passing this way. So you have, you don't want to rob us or anything? Oh, God, no. I couldn't what? No, I would never want to. Okay, peace, peace. And he motions to everyone else and uh, <laughs> releases I'll, himself from you. I'll let him go. Like, I'm, I, what I want him to know is, me letting him go. I look, kind of look back and like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is a uh, traveling nomad merchant group uh, going on. There's about uh, six of them as they all like officially come out of the sands and out of the shadows and they're facing you guys. These are my friends, uh, Kuro and um, Nora, Nori, if you want to, you know, for short. <clears throat> Nor <clears throat> Nikori, but yes. <clears throat> Corey. I forget his name, so we, we're new friends. We met, like, five weeks ago now. It's been two years, but yes. <clears throat> <laughs> Feels like five weeks to me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, would you like to buy anything? Or this is not how we normally do our transactions, but we really don't know what else to do here. Well, we could all just, you know, spend the night and, like, trade some stories, and I don't have much gold. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I inherited the fortune of one silver piece when I woke up. Yeah. That's all I can offer you. Know, I'm feeling a little light in the pocket as well. Yes, I can Sorry. give you tales of uh, great catastrophe and a lovely heroine that's fighting fate and the ultimate calamity of the world, but maybe if you had something to offer, I'd be able to tell you the story. Uh, he motions back and he sort of, he talks in sort of like clicks and like hisses and he, they are and they all look at you and say, okay, you guys can stay the night. We'll trade some stories. Uh, we don't have any food for you or water or anything. So hopefully that's not big a problem for you and your your woman friend who is upstairs right now. She ran past us. It's okay. oh, that's quite awkward, isn't it? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Start stress eating rations. <laughs> it is fine. There's no there's no need for provisions. As only one of us needs them actually. Oh. Okay. I've been you... fasting for a, quite a while. It's fine. Oh, you're f I'm intermittent fasting too. I'm on a 16-8 <laughs> right now. I'm, I'm beginning. I gotta, I gotta lose some water weight. Ah. <laughs> yes, water weight. That's what I'm losing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go on. What blood type? I mean, um, anyway. Uh, what, what stories... Uh, do you have your travels, Mad? Yeah, uh, you guys just go into the night. You're chilling out. Uh, the Shastia comes back down, and she's definitely happy that you guys are not fighting. And we're just kind of chilling out, sharing stories, having a good party time. Uh, if anybody wants to tell me a story with a performance check, uh, we'll see where, how, that, how that goes. See if they like your story or not. I mean, I've so got lots of but... <laughs> Why don't I tell you the story? No. The legend of Belda. Go on, yes. You see, it all started many moons ago. Young child grew up in a secluded forest village. What's a forest? There, uh, it's a wondrous place of trees and life and lush shrubs and trees and life green whatever you think green looks like it's green ah. there lives a child a child amongst other children destined for greatness there he took up a sword a sword to smite evil one that 
none of us here quite frankly want to see, but it'd be quite amazing nonetheless. And there, this child took this sword, went on a great journey across the world, from volcanoes to the sea, to even the desert that we stand in now. Ooh. Until he came across a great villain. This villain's name was the Scion. Oh, oh. he was so cool. <laughs> With four arms and a pig face that stood tens of thousands of feet tall, they fought for days and nights. But in the end, Belda was victorious. That's all I got. <laughs> Hey, uh, roll a uh, performance check with advantage. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh... You got two nat <laughs> ones? I got a yeah. nat one and I got three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've uh, we've heard that one before. We're, we're big Belda fans. It's good to have new Belda you know enjoyers but it's uh, it's yes. okay it's a it's no problem uh, we appreciate yeah, I, your telling of belda there's actually you know, I, in the expanded belda universe uh -huh. belda had kids <laughs> with relda oh what? and made grelda and then fought uh, the son of the scion wow shit but have you heard the story of the legend of blink <laughs> 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 and you guys continue going back and forth with the stories. Oh. I can tell you a story of a team that I once met. They were a team of about five? I think it was five or six men. And one woman. They were known as Expendables. Um, <laughs> bunch of fighters, one barbarian. Oh man, the things they did. They once broke into a palace that was being controlled by an evil wizard. Blew up the whole thing with fireballs and just their burning passion of athletics. Raw, just athletic magnitude. Just destroyed this palace completely. And they all walked away from it. And then the next week, that was just one. That was one one week. One week? <laughs> and the next week, they broke a continent in half. Literally in half. Because they wanted to. They were that mad. And that raw, like, their strength was that raw. Wow, I hope we never meet the Expendabeles. <laughs> You won't. Um, they they actually tie into the story of Blink. Like, they blinked <laughs> out. That's so that's why if you hear it, like if you hear someone say you blinked out, you can think of the Expendables. That's what happened. <laughs> Do you want my performance? <laughs> yeah, give me a performance with advantage. That was a good story. <laughs> Let's see. God damn. Alright, 17. Oh, there oh, it is. 26. <laughs> oh, the Expendables! We like that one. We might make a, a moving set of pictures to that one. Yeah, you should. You should make four of them. Maybe even five. <laughs> we'll see how the uh, franchise goes. <laughs> yeah, keep doing it until like they're really, really old and then still keep going. I think they died and they were each like 120. Wow. That's amazing. I I, <laughs> I can't imagine a better story than the Expendables. <laughs> uh, there was a time traveling one that the Scion was in, but I don't know if you guys want to hear that one right now. Oh, my friend, it's late in the night, and we have to leave early in the morning, so I think we're all gonna head to bed now. Thank you Perfect. for telling your stories. We'll, we'll be sure yeah. to spread those around. Pitch to some agencies. 
Yeah, because I was just going to go through the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Legend of the Roadhouse. <laughs> yes. You they guys... called him the Burninator. <laughs> you guys sleep, wake up, uh, and they have left before you guys have even woken up. They are wow. out. Uh, but they left uh, a big, like, thumbs up drawing in the sand. Good day. Oh, wow. Chill, guys. Yeah. Thanks. I like them. Is there anything else you'd like to do with the ship? <laughs> um. Is there anything left on it, or has it been looted? It's been looted. There's no physical parts on it. You'd just be investigating the what remains of like the hull of the ship. Mm. Now, okay. I mean, it might be worth a quick once over just to like, at least I like my guy's kind of interested in it since it does have this kind of connotation with the Arcana and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. I want to see if there's like anywhere I can find any like specific symbols. That or like anything I would recognize as like something I can either like get an etching of or um like take a piece of. Yeah, uh, give me perception so you can find anything. All right. Don't worry, I'm blind as a bat, everyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> blind as a bat. <laughs> yeah. So close to you, uh, you can't mostly. find anything. All the sand, uh, it's basically been sandpapered by the, the winds, uh, and all yeah. the, the markings are gone off. But yeah, you leave with a sense of, there's some strange energy here, but uh, other than that, you can't really pick up anything else. Hmm. All right, right, and we will continue on. I gotta roll up my, my three-sided internet dice again. <laughs> Does it allow for you to do? Let's see. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it does. That's cool. <laughs> okay. So, you guys are walking. Still desert. Still hot. Still miserable. Uh, however, ahead of you, you see what seems to be an animal uh, going through the sand slowly. It's about... I don't know. 100 yards away and it's slowly making its way towards you with its head down and then as it gets closer you see that it's dragging somebody on the ground hmm. <laughs> I hate for this to be said but this doesn't seem very uncommon yeah I mean it's a desert, man. It's kind of what happens. Yes. I know a thing or two about dying of thirst, eh? <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, why don't we check this figure out? They could need our help. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's dragging it, do we really want to get involved? It could be a bigger thing if it's hungry. What's... I'm sorry. Is this thing dragging it like, uh, like he's tied to it, or like dragging it like in his mouth kind of deal? Um, you can see that it's it's like it has a chain around it, mm -hmm. and it's dragging the person. Okay. Oh, okay. So like I... a rider kind of deal. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. 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 And never mind. I, I revised my. I was taking it the other way. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's. Let's try and get this thing here. and Let's take a look. Yeah, it's uh, curious. Okay. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. To, can I? Do I know what this creature is by chance? Have you seen a wolf before? Hmm. I've probably seen like a fox or something. I don't know if I've seen a wolf. So like, kind of like language adjacent. Like, <laughs> I've seen a fox. It looks like a big fox. <laughs> yeah, I think you would, if you've seen a fox, you'd recognize it as a very large fox. I feel slightly offended by looking at this thing. That's huh. Something deep inside me is quite irritated, actually. I have an urge to kill it. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Let me see if I can, you know... I just start... <laughs> just making random fox calls and stuff. 
um, it, it points its head up to you and like looks at you and then slowly brings his head down uh, and continues walking. And its pace is, uh, like, it, it's struggling to keep going forward. It's, like, marching along very somberly. Oh, so we can probably walk over to it without much issue. I mean, it probably needs, like, food, water, or something. Yeah. I want to pull out one of my rations. Okay. I want to, like, put it out in front of me and try to approach with it. I'm here, little asshole. I know you want meat. I want bla- I want to meet you. Uh, Come on. An Come on. Handling check. Oh, son of a bitch, three. <laughs> it got it. It doesn't Dang turn it. hostile or anything. It just sort of drags its head down. And I think you're pretty close enough to notice that it's dragging this. Uh, it, the body is dead. You can recognize it's dead. It's not breathing. But it's still in the stages of uh, rigor mortis. So its arms are clutching this bottle with this red sort of orb in it. Ooh. Go on, take the rations, take the rations. I want what you got, and I got what you got. Can I pop the bottle out of its hands while it's being, like, while he's trying to feed the rations? Um, if you try to do that, the animal will, like, gnaw its teeth at you and, like, show its teeth and start growling at you. Mm. Yeah. What do you guys think? I think we make friends with this thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, then instead, um, I will pour a little water. Like I'll kind of cuss my hand and pour a little water into it, and like offer that towards the. It might be thirsty first, you know, compared to. All right, <laughs> make an animal handling check. What was that? A performance? <laughs> Some fancy looking water you got there, eh? Uh, seven. Uh, it comes over to you and starts drinking the water. Hmm. All right. Um, Get off, throw it a bone. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what can I do? Can I. <laughs> I mean. I feel like I kind of established in the first session that I made, like, my own, like, regular weapons out of my bones, like, yeah. over time. Like, my longsword is literally, like, a katana made from a blade I made from my own skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, like, throw him, like, a dagger I have or something? Yeah. <laughs> Just, like, a random bone dagger. <laughs> yeah. You can throw him a bone. Uh, literally. And with... Give me an animal handling check with that as well. Let's see, oh, if, God. Let's see if that does this. Where is my animal handling? Oh my God, I'm proficient in animal handling? Oh, I didn't even realize. Nice. One of us. <laughs> oh my God, okay, hold on. Oh, okay, that one stayed on. <laughs> um, <laughs> dirty 20. Nice. Okay, um, the dog uh, relaxes itself as its shoulders kind of go down a little bit. And it starts chewing on the bone, and it begins to be a little more playful, and you know, not immediately depressed. Pretty much. We should probably a get the chains off of it, and also check out the, you know, if you guys want to check that out, or I feel like actually you guys would probably break the chains better than I would. <laughs> I could try, but I don't know. Um, yeah, like, like this body. How how bad is it? You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Um, it's about five weeks old. <laughs> And like, what, um, what kind of vibe are we getting from it? And like, in terms of like what this person was, with the clothes <clears throat> on and some of the markings on the body, some of the just resonant magical energy. This was some sort of magic user. An Arcana check would tell you a specific kind. Anyone here know Arcana? Do I know Arcana? 
I I would make the check. I don't have anything in it, but can't hurt. Oh, it. <laughs> this was a magic user of oh, magic. Oh. <laughs> Insightful. Yeah, they um they did magic things with magic. Mm. <laughs> but can you tell um, me if it was the boom boom or the healing magic? Uh bear, I just realized something on your uh character sheet. Roll again. Because I, I will, I would retroactively give you advantage. Oh, okay. Oh Oof. my God! Wait, there you go. Eventually, this was a uh, genie warlock. <gasps> Scale. <laughs> Shit, guys, this it's is a great board. Looks <laughs> like hundreds of years in the future. <laughs> um, His horns are magnificent. Oh wow, this is. This is interesting. Um, let's just say this person makes packs with a higher entity. In this case, probably a genie. So he's a warlock. Yeah, yeah that, I probably could have just said that. Yeah, yeah oh. he definitely could have. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you know you got a, a little bit of mystery into life. Otherwise, what is it? You know. I don't know a lot about locks, but I do know about war. I will get these chains off of it. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you do that. I'm gonna get this liquid out of its hand because. Oh, if you need to extract liquid, I'm your guy. Uh, it's <laughs> not that. You might be able to try and get some liquid out of him. Might help you feel like whoop, for a bit if there's any left. But. Hmm. Type uh, of negative. I mean. <clears throat> uh, I don't know about that. I, mm. I wouldn't be able to. Also, don't let me see you do it. I might be a little upset, but There's like nothing probably. to worry about. I'm not that kind of elf. Um, can I get the red bottle out of his hands, or? Uh, yeah. Give me a uh, athletics <laughs> check. Performance. Basically, okay. You're just like, <laughs> you're basically ripping it out of its hands, out of his broken hands, or rigor mortis hands, I should say. Just like put my foot on his head, like on the dead thing's head. Like, come on, come on. Damn. Thirteen. With a thirteen, you just rip its arms off, pretty much. Its arms are still attached, like from forearm up, to the uh, the bottle. So yeah. You, it, you can do anything with it, but it just had arms on it. Can I like pop one of the arms off and throw it to the dog to eat? <laughs> to eat? <laughs> kind of fucked up but yeah you can <laughs> listen i i'm a waste not want not kind of a ladron a ladron man you know like listen it's out here is there like any blood dripping out of its hand arm you know it's like breaking kind of, a twig pretty much kind of oh, looking so like dead dead okay yeah yeah oh it has been i think you said Damn. five weeks so yeah um but yeah i'll toss a toss an arm for the like i'm more concerned keeping the the wolf dog thing alive then because <clears throat> it is alive might as well try and keep it alive right now all right you throw it to the dog and it just kind of looks at you and keeps on chewing its bone i can purify food <laughs> turns into a, a it starts bleeding again just a normal a normal hand um i'm gonna while the dog is chewing i'm gonna press the digitate like the bone as being a little more flavorful, maybe. Okay. Salt and pepper, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got any lemon pepper, please? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you have this bottle in your hands with a orange orb, sort of bouncing around sporadically. So. I don't. I would have to probably sit with a while for a while and see. Knowing it's a warlock, this is maybe something that's in line with it. But I'd have to really sit down. If you, we want to sit here for an hour or so, and I can see about trying to attune to this or like what the nature of it is. Um, it's up to you guys. You know, you want to work on making the his his its. Mm. At, come around to us unless mm. <laughs> I 
don't know. We are in the blistering sun and Holy true, we can drink and <laughs> I'd rather not we perish out here with this guy. Could we at least break the chain off of, well, or break his leg off, or wherever this chain is, like, attached to him, so that we can just bring this fox with us? Can I try and bust the chain? Yeah. Give me athletics. Athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Can't break it off. Can I try? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got plus seven to athletics. I have plus zero. <laughs> you have plus. How do you have? Are you I'm a deck spider? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm dual wielding. <laughs> it's nineteen. Nice. You easily just snap it off at a at a clean. You'd like just take it out of its ball socket. <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh, all right, Mister Fox. Have a pull. Come with us now. I need one final animal handling check, and this will see if the fox will come with you or not. <laughs> Who has the best animal handling out of all I of them? Plus four, so probably me. Probably you, because I have minus one. <laughs> Just got a plus one. It's not good enough, though. That is a natural one. The dog <laughs> looks at you, uh, bows its head, and just walks off. No! <laughs> Go oh. back! Kuro, it's okay. Boxes sometimes can be like... Like it might go into the desert sands and we might see it again somewhere. They're shifty, those things. Yes. Fine, I didn't want you anyway. <laughs> they might also hunt you down and try and eat your liver, but you know, to each their own. I respect the hustle. Yeah, oh. yeah I do. I've done quite a few foxes who would do the latter. <laughs> Oh, we've got this mysterious potion. Can I do a medicine check, actually, and see if it's a medicinal bottle? Yes, you can. But it's mine. It's my precious. <laughs> Ten. So this bottle is not the genie's, like, housing. You know, like, you know how Kel has, like, his genie bottle and he goes inside of it? This is yeah. not that bottle. So this is sort hmm. of like a temper. This is like uh, equivalent to a genie living in a car. <laughs> okay. So this is we're. If I shake it, it's a genie inside. He's like fuck, fuck, fine. Like. Uh, yes, I, I was. Maybe your character doesn't know that exactly, but yeah, the genie is just okay. in there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we get it later this, tonight. You can, you can you can have this. I don't want it. It's a. I'll I'll hold on to it. I'll take a look at it later tonight and see. Maybe if I pop it like we can pop it open later and like see what goes on. But for now, let's just I'll store it in my backpack. Um, that's fair. That's let's, fair. let's get out of the sun. It's I don't want to end up like uh, our burnt friend there. Yes, I feel like I'm one shade paler than usual. It's oddly weird for me. <laughs> All right, and we'll uh, continue on walking to the night. Uh, and now you guys will get to uh, the place where you actually are, uh, that shown as the Chassier, you're walking and she is in the back and she goes, wait, stop, 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 stop. And she turns around and she says, yes, this is it. This is it. We're here. Uh -huh. We're at the palace and it's just <coughs> desert. Hmm. What? Where? Uh, there is no palace in Bossing Say, as they say. <laughs> Yes. I think you're seeing an illusion. And she goes, no, no, I think you're seeing an illusion. Uh, everybody can make an investigation check with advantage. So you said just click on it and that gives advantage? Uh, control, click. It should. That, oh, okay. Two twelves. Two twelves. Ten. Ten. What was the check? The quarry is built for battle and nothing else apparently. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, I don't know why. There you go. Ooh. Nice. Uh... Oh, wait. I Control is disadvantage. All is advantage. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll that. Damn it! You, roll that. you fool! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so... 
So, Damn, I would have had that sweet 16. <laughs> so, uh, did anybody get below a 10? Mm, at 12. So you see that she kind of pulls back in the air a curtain. Like she holds something that's like a curtain and she swoos it back. And there is the palace of the Shastier. And it's Whoa. massive wow. high walls and a uh, city made of sand and sandstone. And she goes, wow. we're here. We finally found it. Or I found, found it. it. You guys just kept walking. You guys walked right past it. Well, sorry, we sorry. I don't, I've never seen an invisible curtain, much less an invisible palace. Oh, well, it's poor for going in. I have just always seen sand, so that was my defense. I don't like sand. Well, the protocol for going in, if you're not with the Shastier, is you have to go through these trials and tribulations to prove that you have peace of at mind and peace of heart to show that you're, you know, worthy of the Shastier's presence. But since you're here with me, you kind of get like a RSVP. Pass. Oh, nice. I don't have a heart. That's very good news for me. <clears throat> anyway, uh, um, uh, ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> and you guys will walk in and see this very uh, elegant architecture entirely made of magically compressed sand. Uh, you go through forward massive stained glass uh, windows along the side. It is completely empty, though, and it looks to be uh, evacuated. Uh, this is your palace? Yes, it's it's been a while, you know. War normally brings destruction, evacuation, and death, and that's what happened here. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Wow. Hello! Hello! Well, well the sand holds up, nice. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Bear, what vibes are you getting? Good vibes? Uh, I mean, I'll do, like, a divine sense in the area and see. Is it the normal, like, kind of... Yeah, um, you see nothing with a divine sense. There is n not a thing. Like, normally if you do it anywhere, you would get residuals. There's nothing. Does, uh, does, um, my good vampire friend ping still as undead? <laughs> uh, he does, but his signal is, uh, since you're familiar with it, it's like a, it's a yeah, different yeah. frequency, but... There is I, I sense, I kind of look at you for a second and I'm like, balance. 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 Yes, like all sand should be. There's not a speck out of place. Neutral vibes. Yeah, totally. Interesting. True neutral. All True right. neutral vibes. Uh, and you guys will make camp in this uh, sort of massive preacher hall uh, as you guys set off before you will uh, go deeper into the uh, palace. Hmm. So you can uh, long rest again, and uh, if you want to do anything before we head off in the morning, you can do that now. I know we're interested to see what's in the bottle, so... Um... Do you guys want to be near me when I do, like, check this bottle out? Or do you want to keep your distance just in case? Well, I think we should be close by just in case. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? We get trapped uh, in a bottle? <laughs> and, like, everybody's feeling good. Like, Probably. Kuro, you're feeling good. More, you're feeling good. Like, you guys are... You don't need any more, like, food or drink? No, I don't know if I'm feeling okay. Well, I'm kind of thirsty, but I, I'm fine. Okay. All right. Why don't you guys back up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it open and s see what I can get from this like stuff in here. All right. And then, once they're a respectable distance, I'm gonna pop the. Okay. Uh, you kind of struggle to get it open a little bit. It's kind of like a pickle jar. Struggle and struggle and struggle, and then finally, you pop the orb immediately comes out. And you see this fire genie sort of come out immediately. Oops, I hit the mic. Immediately stretch his arms and say, "I am the great." I don't. I don't have a name. Can I give you one? <laughs> yes, that's actually what I was going to ask you. You give me oh. a name, and I give you a 
small favor in your future. Whoa. Ooh. Hmm. Are you like the top dog or are you like a middle tier or like a low like where's your status in the realm of like fire beans? Right now I have an up and coming startup uh, in the jewelry making business, but other than <laughs> I mean, it's up and coming. All right. Okay. This is, I got I got a really <laughs> great name for you. Like I was gonna go with this anyway, but I just wanted to make sure. How do you how do you like the sound of Motar, right? Or like maybe Motar's too like too mm, you know? Like mm. Mm. maybe like oh well, guys, what do you think? What's a good like I need a name he's I gonna... can put on like engraved in a ring. What's a short name that I can put on a ring? What if the M was silent? Yeah. Hmm. I oh, like that. That's interesting. Otar. Like but Otar. With M. Ooh, yeah. You could do like you could do a whole thing like Lord. gems by Otar. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's good. Sprof. You could just drop the M entirely, keeps it nice and short, so you can engrave Otar, and then your company name could be Gems by Otar. And but every ornament begins with O. With the, oh, that's good. That's good. It's really good. That's a good one. Every ornament begins with O. Oh, Tom. I got tar on the brain, eh? No, <laughs> oh, that's a good name. I was, I was thinking of the tar pits earlier, Kuro. Yeah, and no, they, it's, it's, I was like surprised, so I was like, when I, and I didn't think I could just do an O, so I kind of went, mm. um, but yeah, O, O, Tar. O, Tar. O, Tar. Yes, okay. And you can be like, like, all right, what if, like, you said you want to start up a jewelry business, but what if you're at the top of the jewelry business? <laughs> and then you get people below you who, like, <laughs> Buy into this business, so you're getting the steady stream of income. Yes, and you can call it a package. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, well, uh, that's what that's what I thought business was. I see. I I make jewelry as a hobby. You know, I like it. It looks mm. nice. I'm fashionable. But then my friends mm. also want some. But then their friends want some too. Yeah. Mm. Like my queen mm. we used to. My queen used to do this thing. She called it a multi-level marketing. Where she would be at the top, and then she would give it to like us in the court, and then we would sell it to like people outside of the court, and then they would sell it to their friends, and it all worked in the queen's favor, which made her really happy, which then came down to us. So like it works out for everyone in the long run. It does, especially me, because I get all the money. Yeah, well, yeah. you get most of the money, like ninety nine percent of it. But, like, you still feel really special at that second tier. And you always tell people they can work themselves up. Um, but then accidents sometimes happen and people disappear. But, like, that's just a queen thing when you're in the courts, so. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for naming me. And he points to everybody and says, that name will stick with me forever. Uh, I can give you, everybody, a free piece of jewelry right now. As a as a bonus to come on, and then we can work something out later if you ever need me. Uh, but I, I would prefer to go out and start making some deals, not be stuck in some palace. Yeah. Do you guys? Oh, you can go. Um, I don't remember what was the name of that town, guys, that we came from like a couple weeks back. Well, yeah. Um. Yeah, what was that called? I don't remember the name of the town offhand. I don't think I wrote it in my notes. Uh, did we get a name? I'm gonna say we did it. There's a town five weeks west. Oh yeah, there. fuck them up. I, I mean, uh, do business Although, there. If you're good at locating, um, going west, also there's some traveling nomads. They might be a really good starting point because they probably Ooh. have. Them. I like yeah. That. Get in, get out, make some deals, come back out. Yeah. Mm. All right. I'm not sure. I'll, I think I'll you look with fabulous buildings. with a necktie, by the way. All right. And he gives everybody a ring of warmth. Oh. Uh, let me throw it in there. 
or actually for the main party loot actually, but yeah, it's a ring of warmth. You guys ruined Kel's life. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I guess in my backstory, you, I, it kind of saves him, so like, you rescued Kel from death. Oh, Just wow. think, if we, did, yeah, if we didn't let Otar out here, Kel would have been, you know. Kel would have drowned. Every also, Otar, Otar begins with O. What would have Tar begins with O? What would have happened? Happen? It starts with M, apparently. <laughs> it starts with M, but it's silent. It's like, um, like lowercase M, but capital O. Yeah. <laughs> what would have been my favorite thing here? Much more than those degrees, right? I have to go through all my notes and rewrite his name. <laughs> Motar. Motar. Whenever what would Matt gets back, what did we talk about Otar say Motar? Just so yeah. That... <laughs> what would have happened if, um, like, we didn't open the chair? Like, let's bury this and never talk about it again. <laughs> uh, the nomads would have opened it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so the Wait nomads are, like, um... his first business foray. Otar, yeah. can I ask you a favor, actually? Yes, yes. I would like for you to... Engrave the ring, please. Of your course. Name. And he teleports the rings into his hands and pulls out like a very prestigious and expensive jewelry tool. And he starts. Ah. There you go. And it's very nice craftsmanship. Like it's not shitty. It's actually no. extremely nice. Put it he, he hasn't sold out yet. I think it's fabulous. A very much welcome addition. To our yeah. loot, and yeah, I, mean, I think you are gonna go places. Thank you, honestly, genuinely. Yes, I it, hope. Thank you all. No, no, go, Kuro. I was just gonna say, I, I wish you all the best of luck in your business ventures. I think you have a very bright future, and you seem like a very capable individual. I see a lot of success in your uh, future, yeah. as well as yours. Thank you. I'm I'm just happy to have a Motar original. So me too. It's, me too. Can you imagine right. 500 years from now? Oh, those fools who probably won't have one. <laughs> oh man, I can. I'm going to treasure this. Actually, honestly, would you truthfully? If in the future, Otar Motar, like, if I was to sell this but like reinvest it into your business in the future, how do you feel about that? Well, if you're going to sell my ring back to me. No, no, no. I'm going to sell it to people to get them to buy into your, like, business and then use the funds I get from that to also reinvest in the business. Oh, well, yes, the ring has a, uh, you know, returning enchantment on it. So if it goes off your ring or your ring finger, you can return it back to your ring finger. Hmm. Ooh, then this is even, like, a better opportunity. We can We can help you spread word by, like, Look at this craftsmanship, and then some fool buys it, and then we just... Oh. That feels like a scam to me, honestly. I don't know if I'm all into scams, right? I'm I'm, I'm a legitimate businessman right now. Yes, I uh, honestly right I, I'm going to treasure this ring, and I will never take it off. You I will probably it. take it off, because I like to shower, but also, like, you know, I, I'll keep it on most of the time. I don't think I've showered in... Five, maybe six hundred. I mean, two years. I think it's six hundred years. I can smell it, and he heads back inside the the, the bottle, and closes himself up. We Damn need it, to. You might be right. Out. You need to just. You need to say what you are. I know what you are. Kuro probably knows what you are. Let's just say it. Ready? Three, two, one. L. No. <laughs> Listen, you're a zombie. Elf. You're a zombie elf. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You guys uh, exist. Like you know, at least I'm not a ghoul. Exactly. You have brain function. <laughs> what if I was a skeleton? <laughs> hey, now hold on. Let's not. Oh, sorry, sorry. No offense, no offense. Right now. <laughs> no offense. No offense. What if I was a ghost? <laughs> ghost. You know what's even worse than a ghost, though? Like. They're real assholes, vampires. They're almost as bad as werewolves. Let me tell you. Vampires suck. 
both yeah. literally and figuratively. Literally. Yes. Real pain in the neck, those guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they almost killed yes. my face. So, like, it's just kind of just a known thing. If we see vampires, we're supposed to kill on sight, but yeah. yeah. Oh no. man, the next vampire we see, like I've got stakes oh. like at the ready. <laughs> you be surprised, honestly. I pull, I pull How off, ready I am to kill a vampire. I, I pull off my belt, this little like bottle, and like this bottle has so much potent holy water in it. I'm gonna just <laughs> like drain this face. Holy water, boredom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, it, have it tell me where all the other vampires are. God forbid you drop beans, and they have to count those beans. It's that my a- least favorite thing. I mean, it's my favorite thing to watch vampires do, honestly. And count beans. I didn't know that was one. All right, I'm going to... Oh, gonna yeah. Mark that down. Oh, no, it's grains of rice, I've heard. No, 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 it's beans, I promise. No, it's beans? Oh, oh no, I mean, yeah, it's probably rice. It's probably rice. But just don't invite them into your house in the first place, and then you're fine. Yeah, you know, that's a well-known... I mean, yeah, it's truth. That is the truth. <laughs> but... <laughs> I like to imagine you roll low on that investigation check because you weren't invited into the palace. <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't see it. <laughs> You're like, hmm. shit. <laughs> what? Can you tell me to come in, please? I uh, I need verbal validation. <laughs> I like to always know I'm welcome. Please and thank you. I love this vampire. <laughs> <laughs> like partially in denial. <laughs> He's wholly in denial. Yeah, but at the same time, you're like, oh yeah, but also that's totally true. Yes, <laughs> or like that's like total. Myth. I know, <laughs> I know from experience. Oh man, right. oh so good. Uh, you guys go to sleep. Uh, take another long rest if you need to, and then in the morning, uh, the Shastia will wait for you guys to uh, accrue by the door that she's uh, standing next to. Well, that was a decent night's trance. How are you feeling? Rested? I'm uh, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm doing great. I have uh, I'm I'm actually kind of working right now to get this door open. There's a a whole sand wave on this door right now. Is this a, a physical barrier or a magical barrier? It's literally a bunch of sand. I have no I- shovels. I'm sorry. What if we push really hard? Like, does it swing out, or it like is the sand on our side? Uh, or it swings. So if you guys are <laughs> looking at the door, it swings out to the other room. So it'll go okay. out to the other room. So what's she trying to do to get rid of the sand? She's trying to magically <laughs> move the sand from the other side of the door okay. and like spread it apart. I, I want to push really hard. Okay. okay, how? Hear me out. What if you push the door? And then Bear pushes you. Mm-hmm. And then the Chaussier pushes Bear. Yeah. And I push the Chaussier. Well, mm-hmm. all you guys can <laughs> push each other. The Chaussier is trying to magically move the sand with their magic. No, no. I insist. <laughs> no, no, no. You join the train. Okay. okay. You join the we train. All, we all need to push okay. together as one that? unit. Everybody athletics with everybody quadruple. Athletics. Quadruple advantage. Well, everybody, quadruple advantage. Everybody will just roll and we'll see what goes from there. Is it athletics? Shit. Athletics. Okay. She got a 16. I got a 3. Oh. <laughs> I got a 6. <laughs> oh, I got a 25. Oh, the guy in front. <laughs> so the guy in front and the person in the back are like the ones actually pushing. Uh, you push and you push like and the door, the door swings open and sand shoots out everywhere uh, from the back. And let me tell you what you guys do. Oh, I wear a mask. I don't have to block my eyes. <laughs> it's in my fangs. <laughs> oh, and I'm wearing a I'm wearing a milk thing now. I've got the mask. Oh god, what is that thing? I'm fucking dope. All right, so you guys are in the uh, temple of the Shastia right now. Below you is moving sand with particles shooting up as it's slowly moving back and forth like water oh. uh, receding in from tides. Uh, you see oh, no. sand sharks jump in and out of the sand below, moving through. And at the other side of the bridge, you see a uh, sand wyvern uh, perched up on its hind legs. See, is this normal for your palace? No, I think... Well, the sand sharks, yes, that's our moat. 
Uh, but the, the wyvern, he's not one of ours. He's a, he looks a little strange. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Hmm. I've never actually seen one before. Did they speak? They, uh, I think they speak, uh, wyvern. Common? They, oh. I have never said a wyvern word in my life before. I haven't either. But if it's they... common. Is it, a, is it asleep? Like, what does it look like from there? It's, it's like staring you guys down uh, from the other side of the bridge. Mm -hmm. Shit. I, mean, I think at this point, I'm just going to, let's just go. Let's let's roll the dice here. We're either going to live or die, you know? Yes. I'll, I'll try and, like, give it enough honorifics where it'll be like, oh, cool. All right. Yes. Um... As I start making my way, I'm like, oh, great, beast of the sanctuary. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> as soon as you step on the bridge, uh, the wyvern fl floats its wings up and it's going to start heading over towards you. Oh, please, we're here to bring some life to this palace. <laughs> it's really sandy in here and we just want mm -hmm. to okay. spread the joy. <laughs> The shot is going to move over and ready in action. Uh, ready here, Clint. Uh, mm. So, Sandy the Wyvern is going to. Oh, shoot. I need to. There we go. Fly over. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, God. All right, we kill it fast. And it's <laughs> going to use a tail sweep. Um, I need everybody to. Or, I need. I think it's deck saving throw. Uh, it's actually a strength saving throw. Wait, I was... Strength saving throw. Yeah. I'm good at those. There we go. Sure. There we go. Okay. And hmm. strength saving throw from Barnabas and uh, Kuro. Seventeen. Ooh. Okay. Did it not roll? I thought I just clicked. Oh, you did. You, you got it. I see it. Oh, uh, add five to it because it didn't for some reason. It's not hitting it. Six. I don't know why I can't uh, see it. Huh. Both of you pass. I'll uh, see you there. And then. Uh... Okay. <laughs> uh, so you guys take no damage from the tail sweep, um, and then you guys are not pushed up uh, at all. It's going to try and fight uh, her. Damn. Uh, hits an, on an 18. It does. Nine damage. Okay. <laughs> Silver Ribbon, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm, jo I'm joking. <laughs> Silvery Barbs? Oh my <laughs> it's my one warlock spell I picked, I'm joking. Oh, Kuro's not happy. Okay. Um, oh, wait, skeletal sorry. four. Uh, hold on, wait. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't read this entirely. Uh, I need another uh, strength save from Kuro. Oh, shit. Um, 23. Okay. Ooh. You are not grappled. Cool. All right. <laughs> now you um, <laughs> spit your shit. Skeletal form. Uh, and I'm going to take what do I want to take here? Okay, I think I will just do the blade and right now leave the plus one to my AC. So my AC goes up, and I'm gonna stab him with my bone blade. I'm gonna have to move in a little bit, stab him with my bone blade. 17, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is a 12. Hits. Really? All right. Yeah, okay. Just a bitch. Big things can get hit pretty easily. Whoop. But that's it. Nine damage. Nine damage, okay. Nine, nine, nine. Nine. 
piercing, if that makes a difference. Uh, let me check. And it's magical. It's not. Okay. Oh. Okay, <laughs> and I'm going to swing again. <laughs> uh, that definitely does. That's a 10. This is not. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh. Uh, right. <coughs> Time to let the hunt begin, and I will flame up Flame Tongue. I'm gonna make a new name for that because it's not actually Flame Tongue anymore. Isn't it like Blood Tongue? Uh, it can be. I think that's my bonus to do it right. <laughs> um. Yes, it's a bonus to speed the command word. Okay. So I'm going to attack twice. Um sometimes I don't think they are. First is a twenty-six. Hits. And that is seven slashing and seven fire. Okay. And then again. Eleven! That misses. <laughs> Alright. God. This character is crazy. <laughs> Martibus. So I got Bear? <laughs> I don't know why it's giving you my old name. Bursh? Um, I'm just gonna... Why do these things never listen? Uh, guys, don't look, and I'm just gonna snap my fingers as this really short spear comes in my hand. I'm like, oh, God, I hate this stupid weapon. <laughs> uh, and I get my packed weapon, and I'm gonna stab at it. Um, see where my crow would you call that humorous? Uh, uh. Clever. <laughs> um, okay. so first, that should be plus five, so it's actually a 15. Okay, cool. Um, All right, I'm going to attack it again. Nice. That hits. Uh, nice. So that... And then on that one, I will... Um, I'll use a second level spell slot to Divine Smite. Okay. So you like stabbing it with a pencil, Whoa. basically? <laughs> kind of, Yeah. <laughs> People might mistake it for a dagger or like a long sharp tooth. <laughs> but it is a spear. Um so that's two D eight. Um so three D eight total, so I'm just gonna Alright, so ten ten radiant. So not bad, that's sixteen. 19 total? 19? Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Chapter's gonna move over. I'm gonna attack him. Alright. Um. 14 damage. Just swings. I'm trying to think what causes the least attacks of opportunity. I'm kind of surrounded right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just take them all. Uh, I'm at 11. <laughs> Come on. You could do like a... If he has like a dust, like he could just flap his wings, try and knock us prone. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get the tail sweep off, basically. I'm trying to get the tail sweep into the sand. Oh, yeah, that's going to be... Attacks about I get one from uh, one from Bear, one from Kuro. All right. Um. Okay. 
That's a 19. Um, I want to expend another spell slot, second level. Ooh. There we go. That's 16 rating. 18 damage in total. Holy yeah. Shit, I hit him for 22. What if he's right there? Do I get one as well? Oh yeah, cause he. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on, wait. There. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. I sense flame tongue. <laughs> He's just going back and forth. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, <laughs> uh, wrong way, hold on. <laughs> I did another uh, six damage. Six damage? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there. Okay. okay. I need a strength save from uh, both of you two that are in the cone. Naroki and I'll just do damage. 18. Okay, save. Oh, man. Just outside my range. Oh, isn't this just she a pain hit in the back? <laughs> she gets fucking hit. And she does take 17 damage. <gasps> Not the chastier. Aquari! <laughs> Why haven't you pierced my heart with this? Please. Alright, and then... Yeah, that's it. I can't fucking move. Alright. Wait a minute. God. Oh, wow. She got yeeted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I, I, it's like the bridge and the sand sharks. It's perfect. Okay. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, no. You know what? I am going to keep the bonus for now. Um, I'm just going to run up to him. Oh! Uh, hold on. I have... I ran directly 10 feet straight. Um, right? Yeah. Because I was like, here... I messed up. So I've got a, my big, my big, my big sharks. I got a fucking nutty feet. You, you I need to go to my feet. Cry. No, it's not Sentinel. Oh. It's Sentinel. <laughs> it's not Sentinel. But it's um, it's from uh, what should we call it? Uh, Ryoko's. Mm. I now realize Boon I could have of... not have landed and hit you with the spell sweep, but it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Boon it's fine. of the one Yudo. So that's where I get my extra speed from. But then on top of that, uh, I get bonuses on standing up. If you move at least 10 feet in a straight line towards a creature and are within reach of it, you can immediately use a bonus action to attempt a charging slam against that creature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I don't think this is going to go, but it's like contested athletics check. And basically, if I succeed, it goes prone. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, go so it's gonna have a high strength score. But Mike's also it's, it's kinda athletics. high. <laughs> athletics. Okay. Please, for the love of God. Shoulder tackle. <laughs> it has to beat a 25. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking bullying. <laughs> Wait, what did you roll? He rolled 25. No, no, I mean like on the die. Which one would I? Oh, 18. 18. I have a plus 7. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I've been rolling well this game. I won't lie. Uh... I'm like, am I cheating? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did am I, I weight my dice and not tell myself? <laughs> <laughs> Can um, dice gods choose me? So I see, I see this wyvern hit the Shastier, and we've worked so hard to protect her for so long, and it get filled with a rage, and I just like, start screaming like ah, and I run at it and I just shoulder bash its <laughs> leg as hard as I can and just like, make it buckle <laughs> and I get I go, <laughs> and from there I'm going to attack with that yes <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill this thing this turn. Yeah, you might. <laughs> oh well, okay. Uh, Fourteen on the first hit. That hits. The first attack, <laughs> uh, and that's an eight on the die, which means that's twelve. Um. 
<laughs> it's okay. It's the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, it's the end of the night. We can have crazy shit happen. Yeah, that's 18. Uh, <laughs> that's a five on the die, so nine damage. Nine. Uh, so what's total damage? Sorry. What's total? Total. total damage. Oh, uh, it was uh 12 plus nine, so 21. <laughs> oh. All right, everyone. It's, it's on the ground. Everyone, <laughs> All right. everyone roll at advantage. Rookie. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> flame tongue. Hell yeah. That's a twenty-five to hit. <laughs> and that's first slash. That is uh, eleven slashing and nine fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, flame oh. tongue. Uh, flame tongue again. That's a twenty-six to hit. Okay. <laughs> that That's six slashing and eleven fire. That's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clear. It's dead. Oh god. Oh god. I'm sorry. I feel I, bad. Uh... <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine, so it's like, I run up to it, I like, buckle its <laughs> leg, it's like, just like, falls on the ground, probably hits his head kind of hard, it's just like, not feeling great, and then I like, just start going, <laughs> stabbing it, and you turn around, you just like, start stabbing it in the face. <laughs> this is like, the call it to a drive-by. This, like, <laughs> this is bullying. Uh, two fighters rolling with advantage, holy shit. <laughs> And I did, I, my second smite did pretty well. The first one was alright. Yeah. Oh, my dad yeah. oh yeah, you're just like, <laughs> he's just like, I'm gonna, I need to get out of here, I'm surrounded. It flies away and it's just like, oh, okay, okay, so I hit it, okay, I do like 20 damage. <laughs> As it fly tries to get away from me. <laughs> oh my god. god. Okay, well. We're mean. Well, we gotta, um, we gotta... I'm gonna high five the team. Bring it in, boys, bring it in. That was very well done. Guys, nice, before we are um, the best for no reason, huh? We have one little issue. How far down is the Chastier from where we are? Uh, it's ten feet down. I should. Oh. Minus ten. Or... Um, oh my lord, you didn't tell me there was more. Oh shit! She fucking fell to the ceiling or the floor. Right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she she G-mod clipped through the floor. <laughs> Guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna just hop off next to her. Okay. Try and pull her towards the thing. I like. Please I use my bonus action. An, oh. ath an athletics check at disadvantage because she's sinking into the sand. Okay. I want... Question. Yes. Face step is kind of like Misty step. Could I bring her with me if I did it? Or. No, I don't. That's I've never mentioned no, doors for. That's dimension that's, that's, that's door. door. Okay. Um, but, okay. Can I use my bonus action to increase my range by five feet, meaning I have a range of ten feet? Uh, with the athletic strike, you cannot pull her up. Uh, and then, hold on, I will get to you one second. Uh, okay. Okay. You. Are we still in combat, or is this out of yes, combat? Yes, we're now? still in combat because there's big. Oh shit! Oh, okay. I'm trying to pull her like. You fat bitch! I know you snuck a ration last night! <laughs> hey, you're the one to talk. <laughs> I didn't! I had none last night. I'm very proud of myself. He's fast. <laughs> okay. yeah. So if it's still my turn, can I... It's, it's not your turn, I should say. Or do you still have a bonus action? I do have a bonus action, so... Okay. These sharks are hostile or not? They are hostile. They're trying to eat her. And I'm going there. up here, and I'm using my bonus action with my scimitar. Do you have a range of ten feet? Because they're ten feet below. Oh uh, well, never mind. I'm gonna I stay can. down here then. Okay. Um, does it? Can I use? No, I don't think so. Um. No, that's all. That's all I got. All right. Uh. Okay. Barnabas. So I'm gonna do my thing where I jump in, do my check. I just wanna see. <laughs> 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 
All right, I'm going to bonus action shield the faith her. Just because, since I can't pull her up, I'm just gonna look back. I can't get her up, but if you one of you can, you know, get her up, I'll try and hold these things off. Um, where is it? All right, Shield of Faith. And then I'm gonna move in front of her, essentially. Cause you goddamn sand sharks. Let's see if you can handle chill vibes. Shit. Uh, Chill the face. Going... Do we so work? it has both two to whatever her AC is. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, she takes four damage. and oh! I know it says Snowflox. Don't look at it. Don't look, don't look behind the screen. The man behind the screen. Uh, <laughs> She would get a... Oh, is that with my plus five, or...? It adds a plus, yeah. It's added. Okay, cool. Why doesn't it do it for me? Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's alright. I just plus fives. She gets four damage. On a... Was that a nat 20? Holy shit, it's a nat 20. Oh uh -oh. my god. She's gonna try to get out. Good. Come just all this way. She got 17. Oh, That's not just enough. to die. <gasps> That's not enough? That's not oh enough. god. <laughs> all right. Mikori cannot go in this fucking sand. Uh, that's 24. To hit me? To hit. Yeah, that hits. And that's four damage to you. Do they just auto do four damage? <laughs> yeah, they auto do four damage. Got it. How about Big Mama? Did my con? So you passed what? and failed one, or did you pass both? Because your your thing is not adding. I don't know because it does not showing me what I rolled. Oh. Yeah, what did I roll? So you rolled two con saves. I'm assuming one for your concentration and one for the snow fox thing. You you rolled a nat oh. one on one and you got a 14. Plus, you have a plus 13 to your con oh. save. Uh, I have a, yeah, plus... Well, my concentration has a plus eight. Plus eight. So you have plus so... 13s on your con saves. Um, oh, okay, maybe it's adding in the other bonus. Anyway, cool. You fail and pass one, your shield of faith is still up, so. <laughs> okay. But you are grappled? Is that what it is? You're in its mouth, so it can just keep attacking you. Ugh. Yeah. It basically gives advantage, but since you're in sand, it already has advantage. Uh, yeah. So nothing is really changed. Uh, that guy already hit. Sand Wyvern, fucking dead. Oh, right, dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. I want to use my bonus action. Okay. Uh, I'll lose the bonus to my AC, so I'll go back down to 16. But I'll use it so that I have my bone blade, my my, because it's like it is just like it's round. It's for piercing. Um. So as long as you're not touching the pointy end, huh? If it's for piercing, is it? Well, it's sharp on the end. Oh. It's like. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah. So, I want to use my bonus action to change that out so that I have in uh more reach. Yeah, okay. I and see. then sh stab it down in front of her. So, so that she has something to grab onto. Okay. So and then would you be making the athletics check or would she be making it? I would assume I would be. I'm like pulling her up. Okay. Uh then go ahead and do that. Okay. Bring it home. Plus seven. Bring it home. <laughs> and that's a 19 on the die. I swear to God. <laughs> and then what did you get in total? Oh, uh, that's a 26. And she is uh, being pulled 
up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So she stopped uh, going down. Uh, you can move. You can use uh, your movement to drag her. It's half movement to drag her up. Get, Get over up. here! Get Come up. on! Get up! And I will say that's. Up. There we go. She's up now. <gasps> Very Thank well done. Mission. Showing why you being the primary stakeholder is very good for us. All right, Naroki. Okay, I can't really fight these things. Um, stay up there. Crossbow, crossbow. Yeah, I was thinking crossbow. <laughs> um, You're a dex build. Yeah, I am a dex build. Um, I'm taking a step back, and I'm going to. How tough do they look, the small ones? Do they look frail, or do they all look really sturdy? <coughs> you know, they're little sand sharks. Sharks are rough. Okay. I'm going to take aim off. at this bottom one, then. Okay. I'm going to shoot it with my light crossbow. That's a 19 to hit. That hits. And the damage is 6 piercing. Okay. Um, If it's still up, I'm going to shoot it again. It's still up. Um, that's 11 to hit. Miss. Perfect. That's all I got. <laughs> okay. Uh, Barnabas. Just go. Go on without me. Enter I'm the temple. Call. It's okay. Anyway, I snap my fingers. I step my ass up here. <laughs> <laughs> go on without me. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Man, I would tell stories of you. Oh, there you are. And oh, hey. Since sharks get <laughs> Sorry, I was just messing around. There, the combat's over, and they all... They look like dogs when you take away their toy when they're really getting into it. They're like... Okay. No. Aww. Why is so bad? They go back into the sand. <laughs> Can we push the wyvern into the sand? Yeah, let's push his body in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the giant blood splat. Look at him. Look at that meat it. Look at them going to town and they call and, us. You know, we help oh, when it was all pushing this giant over <laughs> They were just hungry. Oh, and they began great. tearing oh. it apart. All right. Well uh, done, team. We have made it to the end. Uh, the Shastier thanks you for getting into her palace. And I got to roll something. Okay. Uh, so okay, what? <laughs> as you guys are uh, at the end, right here, this is where she would thank you, and you guys would move on. Mm-hmm. Um, she's gonna do that, right? <laughs> hold on, I need to get him. Oh no, where is he? I know I have him. Oh darn. I have so many folders of tokens. There he is. Oh no. My homie. Which one? A man walks out. Pulls out a gun. Oh and my shoots God. her. I don't see the man. I don't see the man either. Uh, he's, he's behind invisible. Me. Oh, wait, he's behind us. This... Oh! What, wait, see? he walked the whole bridge without us noticing? Okay. Well, he teleported in. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. I was just like, man, we really failed all our checks in the last five seconds here. Yeah, so he he walks behind you guys, pulls out a flintlock pistol, and just shoots her. And that's what we're in the session today. Oh my god. A bit. Well, luckily I have all my lay on hands, so... <laughs> and if we do this again, you guys will play the first part of this session. Cool. Where we meet this guy, and he's and like... He's the good guy, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this guy's name is Rupert... Rupert Collin. Rupert Grint. Okay, wait, she... is dead. I need to write that down. Yeah. She has gone shot. I, I will let you guys dead. know, I was... iffy about if you would come and I rolled a nat one on a d20 like on a 50 oh wow uh. 
Yeah, all right, there we go. Sick.